Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. Alright everybody, welcome to Let's Play Bolt Action version 2. Mm -hmm. So, I'm of course joined by John and Chez. John will be my opponent. Chez, you're going to be the rules master. Absolutely. Uh, so, we're playing Bolt Action 2. Has anyone seen this game played yet? No, this is the first time we've actually caught any of it on camera. We've been talking about it a lot now for six months. Mm. Uh, it's been out there getting all the new uh, idiosyncrasies of the, of the rules out to show the differences in it. So, mm -hmm. we're going to get you guys playing through yep. in the same way that you guys have been doing for the last couple of years. Yep. And then we'll point out any of the new weaponry. We've got a, a lot of... Uh, Vehicles and uh, HE weapons and flamethrowers mm -hmm. and, and recce vehicles, so we can point out exactly yeah. the new new types of rules coming mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. um, John, you've got a, in your British Army, you've got two platoons, the armoured platoon and the infantry one, just yep. to, to showcase. Yeah. Now, you know. is that a change that you can actually have an armoured platoon and an infantry platoon it's together? It's not a, a version two change. No, it's, it's using just using the tank war um, okay. armoured platoon, but when. Um, a lot of people have been using them together, and it's absolutely fine. Yeah, okay. Obviously, with yours, we, we kept in mind we knew you'd be facing against yeah, yeah. Well, I've, fancy tank. I've taken a, a pure infantry army here, so I've I've got you know things like Panzer Shrek, Panzer Faust, you know, anti-tank guns, just littered about to to try and take John down. Mm. I'm hoping that'll be enough. Absolutely. Well, we're playing a maximum attrition style scenario mm. here as well, so uh, it's. One victory point for every dice. Yeah, right. 14 units on the German side and 12 for the British. Yep. They, they've invested a few more points in the vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, around about 1,300, 1,400 points, I believe. Um, okay. And so, yeah, I think we'll dive straight into it and, and see how we go. Yep. All right. Well, go uh, as soon as our new crop's up, you just stop us, okay? Absolutely. Cool. Let's go for it. So, first up is... Ah, there we go. Allied. Allies. Nice. Come on, boys. All right. Stiff upper lip. Stop making your tea. Get forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my front Sherman here mm -hmm. is going to make a... Uh, he's going to... Charge up yep. this road as hard as he can here. Okay. Absolutely. Right, so um, would you like to do, obviously, a double movement on a road, as, yeah. as was the previous rules. So an advance would give you 18 inches. Mm -hmm. uh, a run would give you 36, which would possibly be too far. Yeah, um, that's a bit too far. So do you and want to do you, an advance move? Yeah, we're going to advance. advance on the road, you can still fire up. Yeah, yep, exactly. I'm going to advance. This little barbed wire thingy has no relevance no, to a tank all, whatsoever, so that gets tons. tossed off to the side. <laughs> 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 and you get to go 18 inches. Yes, I do. Kindling, yeah. That is quite scary. That is, isn't Very it? good, very good. So, there there we go. high risk, high reward for the, uh, for the Sherman there. Okay. So... Again, you're going to now pick a target for you. You've got a whole um, mounted machine gun. So the couple of different things here. Yep. Uh, one is all machine guns now, including vehicle ones, get an extra dice. Ah, yeah. so that's nice. Your, your medium machine gun is now going to have five dice to shoot. Mm -hmm. So as we were discussing in the uh, the preview, mm. um, we're keeping all the points the same. Mm -hmm. So ah. the machine guns, which we felt slightly under, underpowered, we give mm. them a, an extra dice. Cool. Uh, and your HE. Instead of rolling a number of hits now, we're going to be using templates, which yeah. discourages people from clumping yeah, together. Yeah, so this, like this is going to stop that two-man team taking yeah. two D6 hits or whatever. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. Well, you've uh, advanced. I assume you can take a shot. I can fire both MMGs off this time. You right can. Right. You can fire your, your turret one at anybody in 360 and your hull mounted one in your forward arc. What yep. are you targeting? I'm targeting, I see, a Panzer Shrek team yeah, down so there. Yeah, so my little Panzer Shrek team so down here. Both of those? So, yes. uh, okay. Go for it. Um, so you've advanced. So three is yep. basic. Advanced fours. Mm -hmm. Small, Small team, team fives five, behind some soft cover. cover. Six. And these are four shots. Five shots. Five shots so each. Ten so dice. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so three, four, five. Well, it's it's ten dice needing six. Does he get a couple of hits? Maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, obviously, you can still react if you go down. It makes it a lot harder. Going down now gives you minus two. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot easier to rally troops and stuff like that rather than just being no brainers. We were discussing yeah. before. So, um, if you'd like to go to ground, it's up to you. But it means you're with, not going to get a shot this turn. Yeah, but with ten dice flying at me, yeah, I'm going to go down. So draw okay. my dice. So out. draw your dice out. So, so that's yours. You go down. Yeah. Uh, so now you're on uh, sixes followed by sixes. Sixes. Okay. Uh, none. Oh, there we go. Not oh, a single six. So all of that. You forced the uh, the uh, the Panzer Shrek to ground. Yep. And we don't. So yeah. I should have held my ground. You should have. Th this but is what I get for going. Ah, uh, no, tank. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, German so it's on to me. Next. Oh. If they hadn't gone to ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, hmm. What am I going to do here? Mm. Yeah. 
you've still got your arcs, you've, you've uh, deployed behind some nice little bit of cover there, waiting for something to pop its head out. Yeah. Uh, another little bit to uh, probably point out at this point, because it affects the, the table terrain, there is something now called dense terrain. Okay. So before the game starts, you designate anything which is kind of like an area terrain. Yeah. Usually it's woods, it could be piles of rubble and things like that. Yeah. So yeah. for this orchard, rather than in previous rules where you had true line of sight so you could see through because there's hardly any trees there, yeah. we've designated this as dense, mm -hmm. yeah. so you can see into it. Aye. And anybody that's in it, and if anybody's in it, they can see out, but you can't see from one side to the other. So it's okay. really good at blocking terrain. You don't have to worry too much about exactities okay. of line of sight. Makes it a lot quicker. Yeah. I think my best option right now for this first turn is I am going to ignore John's armor mm -hmm. because it's it's big and scary and it's running at me, but there is no point in me, you know, going, uh oh, I need to start dropping stuff yep. all over the place. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do. Hmm, my little observer, yes. can he move and still pop his... No, he thing? needs to do a fire order if he wants to bring in his ah. uh, thing, so he has mm. to stay still to do it. Well, He's, he's got a hell of a lot of uh, options there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We see, I was hoping that I could see... There's a little troop of uh, brain gun carriers down your end of the table, but this little pair of trees is yeah. right in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Should have shot them down. Got to got pioneers out beforehand. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. But no, they didn't have time. This is uh, an engagement. So... Yeah. Uh, I honestly believe the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start positioning myself for the next turn. So okay. I'm going to issue a run order to my medium machine gun. Sure. So uh, movement on them is just regular, yes? Yep, absolutely. So 12 inches that'll take me. Yep. So and again, just... like previous editions using these tables, yep. huge amounts of uh, hedgerows fields and, and, stuff. and stuff. So we're just using those as soft cover but not counting those obstacles. So you yep. can still run across them and yep. everything. So I'm just going to get them right up to here and this should give me a nice little lane of fire Fantastic. for future parts of the game. Now obviously we're talking about machine guns getting an extra dice. Hitler's buzz store is, is still in play. So they're ah. going to get six dice when they get to Yeah, so I want to get them into a good position yeah. early. Absolutely, right. So next one out is... It's the allies. All right. Uh, let's advance with the firefly. Sure. So uh, nine inches across open terrain. Yep. Um, and obviously not probably not wanting to stick his head out too quickly, but he's got some options to the side. So mm -hmm. we'll pivot here as yep. well. Yep. And uh, now because you advance, you have to shoot the same target. Uh, so do you want to go machine guns or do you want to use your... Uh, yeah, you can't see the armor at the moment, so you're mm. you're probably looking at machine guns. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at that okay. MG team over there. That okay. MG team. So, we've got advanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you need to check the range to see whether it's in uh, short or a medium range. So, uh, machine gun is 36 inches. A light machine gun, it's worth noting, has gone up to 36 as well. So it's ah, handy nice. for your, your squad weapons. So, I, if you're within 18, so yep, short range. Yep. Mm -hmm. So moved, uh, soft cover. I believe that's about it, isn't it? Yep. So fives. Yep. Absolutely. Fives. Five dice on fives. Yep. Yep. Uh, two. Two. Two hits. So I will take a pin on them at the very least. Absolutely. And then two rolls to wound. Please. Mm -hmm. Regular status. Double Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Dinara. So it just goes to show that uh, not always your way. There we go. Another allied dice. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Um. My other Sherman. My third. Tank will yep. advance yep. as well. Tank. <laughs> <laughs> is it nice to say that, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah. My next one <laughs> along the line. Um, I don't want to stop anywhere near that pack 40, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I had been clever, I might have actually put that into ambush. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. But yeah. um, I mean, it's still not a bad option to put it into ambush because if he wants to come off road across you or wants to bring the firefly out, mm. it's still that. But yeah, you've got some time to think about it now. Yeah. And if I, if I turn the arc, I can't fire this turn? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see what happens. So, what is John firing at this time? Well, we're going for the Panzer Shrek team again. Okay, so you're dead set to kill this little two-man team with a, <laughs> yes. with a tank. So uh, that, that's kind of like Bazooka and Flashwar, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. O only this time it's uh, medium machine guns. Except the thing is, if I don't kill them, they can kill me back. Yes, <laughs> true. That is the bit. That is the problem. So uh, you're just in arc of your whole mountain machine gun again. So you're going to be on a, a, a difficult shot again. So ten okay. dice on sevens. So could, like, could I could I fire sixes. the main gun? You can fire the main gun, it's still going to be a tough shot, mm. um, and if you do hit, obviously you get the template. The, uh, there's a better chance with the machine gun. I think so. It gives you yeah. a lot more dice, a lot more chance to get that um, six or okay. five six. Okay, fire away. Go. There we go. Right. There's a possibility of getting a hit now, so you still need another six on that dice, and then you've scored a hit. That's not going to happen. <laughs> he says. No. No. Ye of little faith. <laughs> there we go. So, carrying on, mm -hmm. Germans. But it was okay. A 
It was uh, no, 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 no. You, the extra six is what you needed to hit. Oh, yeah. right. Six is followed by six to yeah. get the first hit. So gotcha. what's the range on a Panzerfaust these days? Uh, a Panzerfaust is 12 and a Panzer Shrek is well. 24. So, uh, All right. Uh, I'm actually going to issue an advance order yes. to this unit here. So they were going to move up six. Six inches. And they, if you can get within six, you're going to get into point blank range as well. Don't forget, I so. do believe I can. Very so. nice. Put your Panzerfaust out to the front. Yep. Um, now the uh, the extra minus one, the old minus one for shape charge being shot has disappeared. We found it was a bit silly just to give them an extra minus because they're already up close and firing. So they follow the normal guidelines for uh, moving and shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one quick question: uh, How many Panzerfausts did I put in my units? Just uh, you remind me. Two in each of your three regular units. You, you've got a veteran awesome. unit all with assault rifles. They don't have any. Yeah. Uh, they're there for a different yeah. reason. Yeah. So, uh, Which is why them. they are here. Yep. And mm -hmm. my regular units here. So I'm getting two shots at John yep. there. Okay, so... so uh, two pounds of I'll fire both. You've moved, but you're at point-blank range. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they cancel each other out. So you're on regular threes to hit. Okay, regular threes to hit. And two hits. There you go, two hits. Yes. Uh, the Panzerfaust is still plus six on its penetration. Nice. A Sherman is still plus... Uh, is armor nine. Mm -hmm. okay. So roll those dice and see if you can penetrate. Oh, double, double six. six. Now, so following on from Justin's amazing roll to penetrate vehicles, <laughs> <laughs> two fantastic rolls on the on the table. So um, a four plus and you've destroyed it. Not a bad mm. use of a five point weapon, is it? Mm. Not really. Whenever you consider how much that is. Boom. Six. Yeah, absolutely. Explosion. Yep. So I, I think we're going to chalk this up to another first shot at a tank. Destroyed a vehicle and uh, see how many how often he does it in, in battle yeah. reports. Yeah. So in, in time on tradition, don't touch my tank. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> like you did Dude. just finish painting them. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So one Sherman is down. Yeah. That's that's okay with me. Mm. You know, it's it's big, it's scary, yeah. but I have kind of left my guys hanging out in the breeze here for now. So we'll see what happens. You say for now, yeah. You've used their Panzer. You've still got the the Panzer Shrek over there. And if you'd like to take the dice away from next to him, that's uh, one nil on on the score. So uh, oh, yes. the the order dice. Yep. Ta da! There we go. One nil. Keep it to one side so we can keep a count. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll just put them right here in the field where I think everybody can see them. And uh, before the the British get too upset, we'll move straight on to another German dice. <laughs> another German dice, you say? Hmm. What could be fun here? Uh, I'm actually going to activate my mortar team. Yep. I'm going to give them a fire order. Nice. Because I want to see what they're doing. Now, uh, do I need line of sight for a mortar? Uh, you do need line of sight, but obviously you can see it's indirect. So you can see past and through you in between friendly units. You don't have to, mm -hmm. you don't get blocked. So you, you, your vision is kind of in this area right now. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm actually going to try and drop one on the firefly. Oh, that's a great idea. So uh, you're looking to range in as you were before. So looking for a six. Uh huh. So. Oh, five. Five. Unfortunately. So if you shoot again before he's moved next turn, it'll come down to five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As it was before. Yes. So next out, another German. Here we go. Okay. The couple, they had more dice in the, in the bag yep. and you went so first with a couple, so that's I'm going to order a run yep. on my, my veteran squad. I'm Very going nice. to have them run as quickly as they can. Now, not over the walls. But uh, uh, you can't, can't run over obstacles, but you can run over last. the open uh, In terrain. that case, it is just going to be an advance. Yeah. Because you want to keep into the terrain. Yeah. Because I want to just I want to get sense. them up into this courtyard, just nice and safely out of the way. So there, there. So uh, it's worth noting here that the assault rifles have come down to range eighteen. Uh, ah, so I'll need to get closer with those. Yeah, a little bit closer than they were before. We found that the having them at exactly the same range as the rifle, but twice the number of shots, would made them too much of an obvious choice. Yeah, yeah. still yeah. fantastic. Eighteen inches, and they got two shots each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and they gave you the extra combat ability, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think so. you and me discussed that once a while. Yeah, yeah. So uh, take the right. dice with them. Oh, yes, you leave just it at the back. Keep the dice with them. Uh, and another German one. Oh, it's all coming up me, yeah. So there is something special you can do here with your HQ units. We discussed it in the in the preview show again. Mm. Um, instead of just moving your HQ and keeping them there for the, the morale and the command values, mm -hmm. you can actually activate other units within a certain distance. Ah. So what is the distance? So it's six inches for these guys. It would be uh, twelve inches for for the captain and major levels. But mm -hmm. for for you guys, you've got a first lieutenant, a first and a Nova Lieutenant and a Lieutenant. So yeah. this guy, uh, he can activate an extra one squad within six inches. Okay, over here. And that can be the, the Puma if he wants to at any okay, point. And, and over this here. guy can activate two units within six inches. Oh, do I so want to take it? He does his order, as long as he successfully passes his order, whether that's that, because mm -hmm. he doesn't need a dice roll, or whether he passes the dice, yeah. um, he can then drag extra dice out of the bag. Uh, I think I'll try that with uh, my first Lieutenant. Yep. Here, and I'll try and get more out. So, sure. order test, yeah? Uh, no, because he, he doesn't need a test, uh -huh. it's automatic still. So All right. Okay. He does his. Two more dice come out of the bag. Yep. 
and then you you do them in that order. So uh, move your. So uh, I'm going to use this unit yep. and this unit. Perfect. And do I have to begin with my lieutenant? You do. Yep. And then right. the other ones in any order you want. Yeah, my lieutenant's just going to advance yep. there. He's going to stay behind. Yeah, I thought he might. <laughs> yeah, he's just moving up slightly. This unit, however, is going to get a run order. Yep. So run. Let's give you some room. And I'm going to have them up and behind the orchard. Basically, yeah, they're running right up to here. So, because he stayed outside the orchard, you still can't see him yet. That's yep. very important, but he can walk into the orchard next turn and shoot from it. So, yep. it's a real tactical use of, uh, of dense terrain now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. That's Perfect. my full unit. Yeah. And my other unit. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is my lieutenant here. Sorry. That's correct. So he's there. This unit is also going to run. Yeah. And they're going to run this way. Because I want that firefly to die. <laughs> horribly, horribly. I want to see it burning. And unlike in Fury, I'm not sending my guys at it in single file. I'm sending a nice little clump of guys with Panzer <laughs> oh, okay. Did you not learn anything from that film? Surely, no, 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 no. single file. And, yeah. One okay. other time. In uh, next order? Another German. It's all coming up, Germans. Hmm. But that does mean you get to react with uh, at the end of the turn. You guys have yep. played enough ball action to know that getting everything out early isn't necessarily the best yeah. thing. Alright, uh, I'm going to put an order onto my second lieutenant, who's yep. over here. Just going to be a simple advance, sure. and he's also going to bring the puma with him. So it's also going to just do an advance. Yep. And I'm going to have it just peek around the side here to get a sneaky shot at the front of the firefly. Still mm -hmm. staying in cover a little. Uh, my commander, of course, is going to advance into hard cover. Yeah, exactly. Good choice. The last thing I want is him getting sniped by yeah. something. And it gives him a lot more options within six inches of him for the next turn as well. Yeah. That's yeah. Quite, quite important. Yeah. So uh, my Puma's taking a shot at the Firefly. Okay. Uh, one shot. Which anti-tank gun does it have again? Uh, this one. Let's uh, double check. Yeah, I believe we were mm -hmm. talking earlier that um, whether or not it had a medium or the uh, the light, light. anti-tank gun. Yeah. I think it, I think you're right with the medium. Mm. So uh, you're going to have a movement. Yep. Um, and the range is how far? Is it within twenty-four. Uh, there, Close side twenty-four. Long range. So long range, uh, yeah. you're going to need fives to hit. Okay. Uh, regardless of what it is, I'll roll it here and we'll find out in a sec. Uh, it's a six. It's definitely a hit. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And then you're going to be on plus five, so roll a d6 and add five. Mm -hmm. So, a three. Um, gives you an eight, so it's just a pin marker, but you don't actually get through the armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, armor nine on the front of Sherman. That's fine. Fantastic stuff. It still well, means that that firefly is a little less effective. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Forcing anybody to roll dice at any point is, mm -hmm. is a good thing. There's always a chance you can fail. Doesn't matter how yeah. good the leadership they are. Okay, Germans again. Again? Wow. Um, hmm. Are my dice in there at all? Um, <laughs> they are. Yeah, yeah they're definitely there. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to activate this little anti tank gun here and I'm going to yeah. have it advance. So this is your uh, recoilless gun, isn't it? So yes. It's a, it's a 105 so power, so it's probably I'll the, the give biggest... it a run order. Yep, so get it forward. And. Put it right here. Yeah. Which should be fine. So I'll make sure I mark it with the run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, next up, we have another German one. <laughs> I swear they're in there. It's the way it goes. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's forcing uh, but, him into too many options where he doesn't have all the targets. Yeah, so uh, it's yeah. actually probably quite frustrating. Yeah, it is, because I'm looking at it going. Arr. Okay, uh, so I'll activate my Pioneer team with the flamethrower. They're getting a run order. Yep. Because I need to get them up somewhere. So I'm just going to run them across to here, and then they can advance next turn, sure. and hopefully get closer to John's infantry. Yes. This is actually really frustrating, because John's not moving back to me, so I'm not getting any targets. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I mean, you took out the tank, which is great, but yeah, you're right, you're... Uh... Yeah, but that, that was John being gung-ho. Right right Let's right see how gung-ho he is now. Yeah. So, mm. the world is your oyster. Mm. Artillery observer. Yes. It's here. It, it is oh, here. Oh dear. So, uh, so you your can... artillery observer is in here? Yep. Uh, he's right in there. And there's lots to... And to he can target. see that. Oh, so Hyan, you're going good. after my two units here? Yep. Ah. So pick a point on the table uh, with a fire order. Over that guy's no, head. No, it's him. It's, so it's that this, uh, unit. That point, that point and then everything within six inches of it. Yeah, so uh, okay. it's not quite as uh, huge as it was before. I, so, I um, assume is this an artillery observer? This is an artillery. It's yeah. a free one that the British get. So let's pop it down in between these guys. Yep. yep. Just, okay. There we go. And then at the start of the next turn, we'll see if the artillery barrage comes in on time. If mm -hmm. it doesn't, then they might have to skedaddle. Yeah. But uh, obviously, 
I'm assuming John's hoping for a little bit of uh, death from above before I get a chance to move forward and hit yeah. the Firefly. We can hope. You can hope. You can hope. Right. Okay. Another allied one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my mortar team. Yes. Will have a fire order too. Uh -huh. Sure. They're okay. going to <clears throat> designate the pack 40. Oh, very here. good. Now, obviously, it's indirect fire, therefore, not only are you going to use the template, but you're also going to ignore gun shields and things like that. So it's a yeah. great way of getting rid of uh, fixed artillery pieces mm -hmm. uh, and anti tank pieces. So six to range in. And it's a five. five. So close. So yeah. close. So again, mm -hmm. if you choose to uh, fire the same target and he doesn't move, mm -hmm. bear in mind he doesn't really want to move, yep. uh, yeah. you're going to come down to a five. Okay, next up, another allied. Yeah. I think I only have like two dice left in the bag. Sounds about right to me. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. I'll bring up my HMG. Or sure, my well, MMG, sorry. MMG, you've got 36 in range. You do actually um, have targets from where you are right now. Yes, I do. And I'm going to open up on this guy. <coughs> now, that's, okay. got a, that's got a gun shield, so it does make it an extra ah. it's plus one to wound. It's not automatically yeah. a six, it's an extra one. So it does make it five to wound it, but you've got five dice now, so it's not a bad target at all. Mm. It's not a bad target, no. I may... Or you can put it into ambush, or you can... Ooh, well... They're going to stay still now. Yep. Yeah. They're going to be moving in here, so if they move... There's no line of sight to them yep. anyway. Aye, so what do um, I do? Do I just take a shot here? It's got to be, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Go for so it. So we'll open fire on Perfect. So, uh, so five shots. Mm -hmm. You okay. are, I believe, just over 18. Do you want to have a look? Yep, I'll have a look. I'm pretty sure it's over 18. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. No, it's eight, It's pretty much 18 on the nose. Yep. Okay. Yep, so just that in. We'll call that in. So okay. um, just... Soft cover, so fours to hit. Mm -hmm. Two, Two wonderful hits. hits, and then you're going to need fives to wound it. No, nope. no. Nope. So, uh, but it is a pin marker for the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it stops it from being automatic next turn, which is great. Yeah. Another allied unit. Cool. Uh, now you can don't forget put your dice towards the if the infantry when they're in the transport mm -hmm. if they want to stay in there they can go down. So yeah. you, can, you can just basically burn a dice if you need to. Yeah. That's fine. I have a sniper team back here that's going to advance. Yep. Okay. Now, would you like to use your HQ section to do both at the same time? Or would you like to just do that at the same time? Actually, yes. Okay. So, so, so give your uh, HQ. They give that, and then you pull out another dice because okay. of... And they will advance. So. Yeah, so it's, it's great to see command units commanding the battlefield and, yep. and yeah. really getting their head around doing a lot of movement. I've so. seen people do little fire bases on hills with various things, moving units at the same mm -hmm. time, getting themselves around. It's great. Okay, so there are... HQ section is advancing up into this building. Nice. Uh -huh. So it's a nice hard cover for you. Yep. And then the sniper team is going to... What's the range on a flamethrower? Uh, I believe it's 12 inches. Okay. So, uh, just so I know. Just so you know. Now, I, I, I'm seeing a command section in a building. <laughs> it, I have a flamethrower. I think I'm going to want to use it. Yeah, I can bring up the chart. We've got the... Uh... So we don't have anything printed yet at all. So every I'm... everything lives on the uh, on the yeah table digitally. Um, so yeah, flamethrower for the infantry. Uh, it's a six inch range on the infantry one, a twelve inch one on the vehicle one. Right, inch range on the vehicle. So you've only got it effectively twelve inches from where you start your. Okay, turn. pre-measure so, in this game. No. Ah. So it's all it's all down to guesswork. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting one. So yeah, all right. So okay. I've moved both of those units. Okay, fantastic. Next so up. next up is another allied unit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, brand carrier section, or at least one of them, uh -huh. will um, they'll advance too, I think. Okay. Sure. Or will they run? They'll run. Okay. Okay. So again, if you run, you can only go straight forward. Yeah. So uh, if you're you're bang up to your tank, mm -hmm. you can't go through it. Ah, no. Good point. Then we'll just advance. <laughs> so it's a, it's a nine-inch movement. Nine you get your pivots yeah. and everything. Yeah. So let's just creep forward. Uh huh. <laughs> I just had to stop there and look at something over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, absolutely. what are you seeing? Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, possible. I mean, he can't shoot through his, uh, his things. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, next allied one. The other one will do the same. Yeah. He'll just join him. Yep. Show me up beside. He'll join him. And then another one. So these will be your squad inside the other uh, half tracks, I'm mm -hmm. sure. So yep. if they want to stay inside, they have they're to go down. They're going to go down. So just put it behind the uh, half track. Yeah. Mm hmm. A German okay. one? A German. What have you got left? Mm. You've got your... I've uh, got my own observer. And your pack 40. And my pack 40. I'm thinking my observer is going to try and drop a, uh, a fire order. Yep. And he's going to fire at... So he can see the fire shaman? 
You can see, yep. you can see a few, that, Sherman. A few little things over here. You can see the stuff that's here, and I think here's where he's going to target. Okay. Just right in here at John's Observer. Yep. And see what I can get amongst that. Sounds mm -hmm. good. So I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Okay. So, so uh, uh, put a marker you, down there as well. Yeah, you if you use, grab one of the, the red, red or green dice. Use yep. a green dice this time. Right. We've got a red so, dice for your one. So. Yeah, so that has that now marked. That's one thing I've always thought is it's always best to use your observers turn one if you can get them in before Absolutely. they get shot down. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. So, uh, uh, now my pack 40. So my pack 40, if I want to move it, yes. how do I do that? Uh, you have to give it a run order mm -hmm. that only moves it six inches. Okay. It's, it's, it's hand, but basically you're moving this rather than tow it up and move it. That's fine. Yeah. It's getting a run order to move because I'm not hanging around here for his uh, mortar to hit me next turn. So six inches, you say? Yep. So it... He's really up. going for it now, isn't he? Here. Yep. He's getting keen. It's not so much I'm getting keen, it's that I don't want to leave a fixed weapon for John to fire at. You can leave the. Oh, your you're leaving. <laughs> oh, but I want it to take the sun back. Makes no oh. sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so that'll do for that. And mm -hmm. then the the last, the last thing on the the British side. They'll go down in this yeah, in the, the last transport yeah. as well. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's the end of uh, turn one. You've mm -hmm. seen a few of the new special rules in there. A few mm -hmm. of the different weapon options and various modifiers to hit to keep it a bit safe but there's still a few more to come yep. so uh, dice back in the bags nobody now there was a unit that went down wasn't there yes yeah uh, my so pounds are shrapped. would you like to stay down or would you like to uh, go back no they're standing up again okay cool because uh, the way the dice yeah. have been going if i can get a an early pull that'll yep. be grand so fantastic uh my observers as well in here yep everything 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 Okay. Okay, so first thing we do before we do turn two is to see whether your uh, observer things have come in. So mm -hmm. now the, the British drop theirs first, so we'll, yep. we'll, we'll see about yours. So roll 1d6, it's mm -hmm. the same as it was before, you, you're rolling to see if it's coming. Two. Two means it's been delayed, so mm -hmm. we'll go to the chart to uh, see what options you have at this point. Mm -hmm. um, if you can find uh, the chart. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, the, the battery is probably busy with another fire mission in another part of the battle. Uh, the player making the barrage can move the token up to 12 inches. So wow. you can now react by. So you're allowed to move that token anywhere within 12 inches, mm -hmm. knowing that there's a whole turn to go before you can roll again to see if it comes in. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to preemptively guess where he's going to be. Yeah. So wow. you can either go safe and go for the middle of the artillery, or you can guess where he's going to yeah, be. Yeah, you could aim into the forest here. I was actually thinking of that. Yeah. Yep. You know, and actually force me uh, not and then to just go hope in you there. don't go too close to your own um, yeah. firefly. So we'll just move it to the edge of the wood. Fantastic. Okay, okay now if you want to do the same thing for the uh, the air observer. Four. 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 So, uh, the airstrike chart. Here it comes with a roar. The aircraft begins its attack. Follow Lovely. the sequence of relief. Okay, so let's bring up the chart for resolving the, the warplane attack. So first right. of all, you place a suitable token 18 inches away from the intended target. So we've got some kind of plane or something to handle, or should we, we use a, a token of some sort? Uh, uh, let's just use one of the... Let's use, use one the, of the white dice. The, yeah, okay, white dice. Okay, so, so put 18 that some, inches away. Somewhere within 18 inches, yeah. Mm. Eight wide. Eight okay, uh, I'll place it right here over my own lines. Okay. If that's wise to do. Absolutely. So my token is now here. Mm hmm. Aiming it here. Yeah. Okay. So now all enemy units with flak. There is a chance in this now that flak units can see off um, mm. planes quite mm -hmm. easily. Yeah. So if you, um, using the range of whatever flak you've got in your army. Now both of yours are right out on one flank, so you might not be able to do it. So you bring yeah. so over there. Completely ignore intervening terrain. Have a have a quick measure for me from the point to the, the flak. Okay. So it is 26 inches. 26, so they're still within shot. So yeah, yeah. you've got a 36 inch range, so they can go for it. Yeah, okay. So, uh, rolling your, your attack dice for each of them, you need fives to hit. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to have eight dice, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. two LMGs. Uh, so, so you're going hmm. to need gonna be interesting. fives to hit. Yep. Uh, and if you get three or more hits, you see them off. Oh, that's a pretty oh, damn good roll. Yeah, absolutely. Just about. So, seen them off. <laughs> so, uh, right. Yes, it's as simple as that. So, if the warplane is stopped by flat fire, then it's the uh, token is removed and the airstrike is over. Wow. So a lot less uh, scary than it was before. I mean, yeah. it's a good roll, don't get me wrong. And, yep. and can I call in another one next turn? You can't, I'm afraid it's done. It's oh. out of the game now. So it's, it's not automatic. Last. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually like that because the aircraft in Bolt Action 1, they were really nasty for just yeah. taking out chumps of infantry. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, if you'd come in from over here, 
mm -hmm. uh, then probably would have been out of range. So yeah. uh, you've really got to choose where, you, where your, your thing is coming from. Yeah, yeah, and you have to consider what AA your friend might have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, flak now. I think a lot more people are going to take a balanced amount of flak across the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and literally spread it across the board as well. Which yeah. is great. Okay. All right. So, so there guys. we go. That that was the the preliminary pre-turn straight into turn two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is it one nil? Uh, it's one Dragon nil. Rights is yeah, one nil right it's now. It's one nil. Okay, Germans. Okay, I am not hanging about. Panzer Shrek team, activate, advance, fire. Now, do you want to? Are you standing and firing, or are you moving and firing? Uh, what's the range on them? Uh, it is at 24, so you're in, you're in short range already. Um, well, I'm no, oh, not. No, you're not. I'm sorry, you're going for that one. I'm looking at the destroyed one. Yeah. <laughs> but I will just stand and fire because I'm in range then, just yeah. to not take any penalties. Absolutely. So it's a one shot weapon, obviously. Yep. Uh, you go on basic of threes to hit. It's long range, so fours, and there's cover between you and it, mm -hmm. so fives. So one shot on fives. All right. So. The tension. Nothing. You could you could smell the tension. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's definitely not me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I assume I can't fire that again. Can't fire that again. This ten. There you go. Another German one. Another German. Obviously one. now it's not down mm. and it can't go down from from shooting, mm. so it's not yep. going to have the extra minuses. So. Uh, right. Uh, what's happening next is my pack forty. I believe has a line onto your Sherman here. Well, this whole area here is. All uh, oh, right, so we're saying the entire yeah. field border. Absolutely, yep. that, that's why the okay. area terrain is very important. Then I would like to reselect what I'm activating, please. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you could put it onto an ambush if you wanted, to, to, just in case it comes around the corner and blows the snot out of you. Uh, yeah, not yet. Uh, my recoilless rifle. How much of an anti-tank does it have? It's it's not great. Um, it's only got uh, I think it's a two on the anti-tank, but it, mm. it does have the because uh, it's a medium howitzer. Tell you what I'll do. I'll be clever. Is my mortar back here? Yep. He's going to get the fire order Before and target the exact same point. Absolutely. And that'll Great be down to a five. Choice. Great choice. So down to a five. Yeah. So here's hoping. Yes. Five. Yeah, Boom. Five. Ooh, Comes yes. in. Mm -hmm. Pop hit. So uh, armor of nine. Yep. You've got two basic penetration and an extra one for coming in from the from the top. Uh -huh. So we're uh, needing a six okay. to do something. A no, four, unlucky. No. But uh, it Bong. does take an extra pin. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it goes to two. So I might be able to lock him down enough. So that that Sherman Firefly is no longer a part of this game. I think that might. So yeah, mm -hmm. good choice, good choice. And obviously now you're ranged in. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it won't be there next time because it's either going to bug out or go forward. So yep. well, uh, point. not if he doesn't get deactivated. Okay, so Germans Another again. One for me. Okay. Mm, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I do believe I am going to activate this squad. They're getting an advance order. Yep. They're going to advance six inches through here. Yep. Right in front of that to fire two Panzerfeist at it because cool. I want it dead. Right. If you go into the terrain, you can see out of it. So you, if you wanted to, you can come and just sit in it. And uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'll take this move back. But otherwise, you're going to hide too much of your army, aren't you? So uh, okay. So yeah, dense terrain. If you're in it, you can be seen and shoot out. Okay. But you can't see from one side to the other. Okay. So there and there. So we can play around with these these trees now. And that's the good thing, you know, you can play around with these trees. It doesn't make any difference to the line of sight. Yeah. That'll do. Makes it a lot easier to uh, to game, a lot more streamlined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have two Panzerfeist coming out of the forest. Yeah, and again, I think you've got them to within six. So uh, point blank shots. Okay. Uh, now you're going to need fours again. Okay, so fours again. Double six again. He really doesn't like your armor, does he? He really <laughs> loves those dice. Yeah, he? yeah. Panzerfeist love your dice. So, uh, okay. Love your plank. Looking for, uh, well, as high as possible on the dice, I suppose, to see if you penetrate. Force to penetrate. Okay. Uh, and it's a one and a three. So you've got no one good. piece of superficial damage. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's put the uh, the hit on from, sorry, the pin on from the hit. And yep. there are one dice uh, with a minus three on the chart. Okay. A two. two. So it goes down to a one, so it's stunned. Now, it's quite important because obviously. Well, as we were talking, your dice comes out, and mm -hmm. you go down, and then you take an extra pin marker. So you're mm. up to four pins. There. Yeah. Um, That's there are ways of getting these back a lot more easily than they were before. If you keep down on you at the end of the turn, you take an extra D3 pins off you, mm -hmm. so, but that wastes another turn. Or if you rally, you ignore the modifier, so you'd be rallying on a base leadership of nine. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so it's, it's a lot easier to rally nowadays. Mm. But okay. again, it wastes a whole turn. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's a, you're giving up something big, but there's a big, big reward. Yeah. Okay, next die for the bag is another German dice. Another German dice. <laughs> hmm. Okay, mm, what can I see here? 
I am going to have my medium machine gun here take a pot shot at your command section up here with a fire order. Yeah, stay with So, with it, there's buzzsaw, I assume I'm now on six dice, yeah, yes? Yeah, you've got a command test to make first with your pin marker. Oh, yes. So, uh, down that you're on an eight. Okay. And uh, six successfully, are fine. so they yep. take a pin off. And that pin goes away. So, yeah, six dice. Yep. Um, you're going to need minus two for the uh, hard cover. Yep. Uh, I think you will within 18. It's not a small squad or anything like that, so it's yet yeah, it's fives to hit. So many dice. Uh, so two hits. Two hits, so a mm -hmm. pin for that unit. And then two rolls to wound, needing fours. Double, Double six. And you're right, see if they're exceptional damage. No, yeah. lucky, lucky boy. So you two. Um, yeah, I, I'm almost worried that you're going to have to break out the Monopoly rules for if you roll double sixes more than a couple of, or if you roll doubles more than three times in a row, you go, you to, go jail. to jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the two squaddies that were with my commander are dead. Are dead. Yeah. But he is now a small section. Uh, yeah. You do need to take a, um, a morale check to stay in the fight. So, mm -hmm. uh, but you can use your own. So, uh, go on. Roll the, roll the dice. We'll have a look. No. Yeah, yeah. You're just about fine. You yeah. use your own command mm -hmm. bonus on that as well. So. Okay. Okay. Next up, another German. Again. German. Okay. Well, <laughs> They've obviously got the intelligence on you. You sh should stop using CB radios and giving them the opportunity to. Uh, yeah. So get uh, off this time, I'm going to put an advance order onto my second lieutenant here. Yep. And use him to activate my other unit here. Okay. So that's an extra dice. Yep. Who are also going to advance. So uh, just regular advance for all of these guys getting up. Yeah. To a better position. And then the other guys as well. So if you I draw your next dice out as well, Chaz. Sure. Just so it's done. Putting these guys just into this little there bit There we go, an allied dice. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. It is. Okay, so uh, threats still to go. You obviously, you know you've got the flamethrower in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, squeeze ball hasn't been yet. Some mm -hmm. infantry around. Mm -hmm. But you've got a lot of options. Yep. You can um, put more pins onto the squeeze ball with your machine gun. You've got your mortar to fire, but perhaps a fresh target. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, one of my carriers is going to move. Yep. It's going to just do an advance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's going to do its nine inches. Oh, I think I can see what's coming next. So it's going to get right up to the hedge there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm assuming he would like to shoot his machine gun. He would like to shoot his machine gun. There we go. At so, what? Uh, at the uh, Panzer Shrek team. That are Panzer stood up in the field. Okay. Yep. So. Uh, even though it's a light machine gun, it's got a short range now of 18 inches. Mm -hmm. So yep. I think you're, you're within short range there. Uh, yep. If you want to have a double check. Yep. Well, well there's okay. 18 there. So there we go. Yep. Well in. Well in. Mm -hmm. So the old 15 inch would have been a long range. So it would have been yep. even worse for it. So mm -hmm. that's great. So four dice. Uh, it's four dice now as well. So uh, yeah, two two bumps for the LMG, both of which you're using in, in this one. So it shows you how yep. good that, those bumps are. So uh, now you're looking at advance. Soft cover between you and them and a small team. So you're on sixes, but it's not an impossible shot. So With the, the carrier having people in it, mm -hmm. can they fire both MMGs? No, no, you still MMG? just one. Just one. Um, yeah, okay. You get to fire one Four. more. And it's a Two hit. Hits. So, uh, no, just one. Just the one? Oh, sixes, yep, yeah. Yep. Sixes yep. to hit because you're a small team. So, yep. uh, one hit. So, one roll to wound and a pin marker. And it's a Five. wound. So, I'll take out the guy who is not. Funnily firing. enough, you'll take the one that isn't carrying the big tubular weapon. <laughs> uh, give him a pin marker, if mm -hmm. you would. And then make a test. Half your unit. Yep. So. so this is really important. He's fine. He's absolutely Sorry. fine. <laughs> He's loving it. But again, you're, you're willing it down and uh, mm. again, you've got to take a test next turn. So another allied one. Yep. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to repeat it with the other carrier. Yeah, yeah if it works good. once, why won't it work again? <laughs> so the other one was going to bump up to that, its yep. friend. So that. And now you know you're well within uh, again, 18 last time, here. so you're still going to be within 18. Yep. It's going to be exactly the same again. Four mm. dice, needing six. Yep. What well, you got? No Nothing. sixes. None this Not time. bad. Yeah, it's worth a try, though. Yeah. But again, you're trying to uh, dominate that flank, which isn't a bad idea. You mm. know. Okay, another allied one. Right. They're going to start debussing out of this. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So, um, the infantry in that are going to get an advance order. Yep. Uh huh. So the guys are going to come out of this one. Yep. I can just bind over the this hedge and make my normal advance roll. Can't Ab I? Yeah, you yeah, can ignore those. They, they don't rolls, hinder yeah. movement. Yeah. Yeah. So we get a six inch move. Okay. From the front of the carrier, which mm -hmm. takes us up to that hedge, where you also have hard cover from that busted up Sherman from yep. the mm -hmm. very scary guys. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you have to take an advance or a run order. Um, you put yourself uh, out and then get, do your 
go from there, really. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, from here, what are you targeting? The Panzer Shrek or the unit? Uh, well, that's a good question. We're targeting the Panzer Shrek. He okay, really so Panzer Shrek's like Panzer taking Shrek. it again. Yes. So I'm guessing you really don't like my, my little <laughs> Shrek. No. Why would I? Why would I? <laughs> so uh, you've just got uh, five regular guys with rifles. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they're all within 12 inches, mm -hmm. so short range, and you don't have any terrain. Because you're up against the cover, it yeah. doesn't count against you. But he moved. But he does did, did move, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll be fives, because it's a small team. Yeah. yeah. There one. we go, there's one another hit. hit. So a pin, and a roll to see if you kill him. And there yeah, he is, he's, he's gone. gone down, finally. Yeah. So, I mean, it took a lot to point. get rid of him, but it's a, it's yeah. a huge move. It's, it's worth getting rid of him just because he can throw out so much pain. You fired both your Panzer Fausts over there, so I think it was a it was a very good choice. I don't know if that was the reason you did yeah. it, but you didn't need to, to whittle down the infantry because mm -hmm. they've already fired their anti-tank. So that Sherman is now a bit safer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's feeling a bit worried. That one's feeling <laughs> safer. <Yeah. laughs> Let's see if we can put some pressure onto that one with my next move. I think so. Hey! Let's have a look. So, uh, I'm going to activate my Puma. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it just a regular advance order, and it's just going to trundle along. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go this way. Yeah. Just to about here. Yeah. Because from here, I think I can get a nice line. Yes, you'll get cover from it, but I think I can get a shot at you. Yeah. Now, uh, you're just about mm -hmm. grazing. Are you, can you fire past your own troops there? Uh, if I reverse slightly. Yeah. So, that's the game. so get, get down to eye level, as long as you're not going through your own troops, that's absolutely fine. There is definitely a line there you can do it. So. Yeah, that's fine, I've got it. Perfect. I've got it on that, that ideal target, so you know the little welded plate, John? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's just right in front of me right now. Yeah. So that's what I want to shoot. Okay, so, uh, shooting? <laughs> yeah, so again, you've moved, yep. minus one. Uh, like you said, there's a uh, cover, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard cover in this case. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, And you're over 24, so it's going to be uh, a 6 followed by 6. Okay, well, that's worth a try. You can do it. No, Not this I time. can't. Next time. Next time. Yeah. Okay, next ice out is another German one. Okay, another German one. <laughs> this <laughs> squad is going to get an advance order. Yep. And they're coming to meet my infantry. Yeah. So they're just going to basically trundle up to the, the edge of that hedge and fire away at you. Because I do have an LMG in here as well, mm -hmm. which is quite useful. To about there, that'll do. Fantastic. So everybody's in short range. Yep. So I've got a, a seven-man squad, uh, LMG, which <coughs> means four dice. Yeah. Uh, an LMG is four dice normally, but Hitler's Bolsol gives you five. Okay. For LMG in an infantry unit is great yep. now, uh, um, and then an extra five guys, so ten shots. Yep. So that's... Uh, you've moved. Uh, they are, even though you're up at cover, they're behind a different set of cover. Yep. So uh, that's minus one. Mm -hmm. So you're on fives to hit. Okay, five to hit. Way. That's not bad at that'll all. That'll be four. So four hits, which is a pin marker, yep. and then four rolls to wound. Just let me get these out of the way. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four to kill. Yep. And, and two dead. Two of them go down. Okay. That'll do. So not quite 50%, so you don't need to test, but it is a couple down. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it just makes them a little less effective when they shoot back at me yeah. next turn. Agreed. Yep. Okay, so... Another one for me. <laughs> You're getting, getting a little bunched again. up again, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, hmm. No guts, no glory. <laughs> I'm going to have uh, my recoilless rifle mm -hmm. is going to fire at John's MMG team. Very good. So, we'll so see uh, how need that a, works a command check first. Yep. So two dice. So. Yep. Yeah, they, they, they pass. Happy. They remove the pin. And then uh, take the shot. Now it's within short range. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only soft cover as far as I can see. Yep. So it's forced to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh no. Um, <laughs> Not this time. One off into the weeds. <laughs> Next up, allies. Okay. The second carrier will debuss as well. Mm -hmm. And they'll get an advance order. Yep. Okay. That's our five dudes to turn up. Okay. And from here, they're going to go from second carrier along the line. And they'll advance. Yep. Yeah, they'll advance to the same. Yep. Up beside their friends. Are they going to get a, a shot across to the uh, to the unit as well? I think they probably can. Yeah, yeah. they should do. Yeah, they they certainly they can shoot through their own unit. It's just not through the enemy, uh, the friendly unit. Yeah. So uh, that's good. So five rifles. I think these guys are at longer mm -hmm. range. Do they have an LMG? Uh, no. no, these guys are just riflemen. Okay. Uh, rifle sections. So uh, you're looking at fives to hit, mm -hmm. sixes because of the the about. There's, One. there's a hit, that's good. So Still a pin marker onto that unit and a roll to wound. Wonderful. 
Yeah, six. A six. six. So six, six exceptional, exceptional damage. You know, see Another six, and you might take out that LMG. Nope. No. 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 It's just one of my regular guys. It'll be this little fella here. Oh. Goodbye. Good night, Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ah. allies again. So you've still got mortar machine gun. Got a sniper team here, which mm -hmm. um, has got so many targets. Uh, your air observer, who's already cooled down, but you know mm -hmm. you might want to get out of there. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, your yeah, lone HQ guy. Mm -hmm. And he's looking a bit out of place on his own. He is out there. He's so not really in six inches of anyone. No, I mean he he might want to get into a better position for next turn. Mm, but, uh, maybe. Yeah. Um, in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, quick question. Yes. yes. Where is their dice? It's there. Okay. Just, yeah. Keep it with just it. So, yeah. Good just call. so we don't get confused, always make sure and check that. And if you're not sure, ask your opponent. Yep. Uh, okay. This Sherman's going to advance. Yep. Oh, I forgot. It gets to go again. <laughs> you mean one to ten? Yeah. Uh, Imagine that. <laughs> I know. So, uh, 90 degree turn at any point. You can do okay. it now. You can do it after. He's going to. Hmm. Where is he going to go? Going into the gap. Yep. Oh, poor him. Mobile hardcover. <laughs> oh my word, that's going to be brutal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I assume you're firing. Oh yeah. What's your target? What do you think? <laughs> the only thing that you can shoot in front of him. What, the puma? No, no, no. I'm no. not shooting the puma. Not wasting my time with that. <laughs> Machine guns, here we go. Machine guns. Oh yeah, yeah. Free section that needs to go away. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. So um, we're still going to give the infantry section uh, soft, soft cover because they'll yeah. definitely be up against that. Yep. But you are point blank, so it's back to three. So mm. ten dice on three. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, this hurts. Daka, daka, daka. Three, four, five misses, so 50% hit. Yeah. yeah. On threes, that's... Could have been worse. That's yeah, a little under the average. Then, Why do I roll sixes now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, fours to uh, fours kill. kill. That's better. More You've got them. two sixes there. Mm -hmm. I have two sixes. Yes. yes. See so if, you get see if they're again. exceptional. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. One of them is. One of them is. So four guys are dead. One mm -hmm. of which you're allowed to choose the, the casualty. LMG. So don't Okay. LMG is. Oh, which is he? It's one with the big gun on the right hand side. There he is. There he is. And then three other dudes. Uh, I'll take out his mate who was carrying for him. Yep. And then and any two others. That and that. So that was brutal. So an extra pin marker. Yeah. And a morale check. I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. On I'm not surprised. Two. I've cleaned up that flank. Uh, and so there, there are a base of nine with uh -huh. two pin markers on them, so you needed a seven or less. You rolled an eight. They bug out. So they Bye -bye. are dead. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it took a lot of shooting, but Thank you. the pins and the pressure on that yeah. flank have finally paid through. Yeah. Mm. I mm. cannot allow this. I cannot allow this. <laughs> okay, allies again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my sniper team yeah. is going to fire on the guys in the wood. Okay. So they're going to issue the fire order. Yep. Okay. Now they fired their Panzerfausts yep. um, and done some damage there. So the LMG and the NCO are the only real yeah. special. Yep. The LMG is what I need out of the way. The LMG is that. Okay. Yeah. So um, you are in short range. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you're ignoring cover. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to go for a three to hit, I believe. Lovely. Okay. So go for it. A five, five, that'll do. Definitely five. a hit. And yep. then you need to, uh, so it's a pin at the very worst. Yeah. And a four plus to kill the LMG. Because mm -hmm. it's always exceptional. So you always get to choose. No, no, not quite. So it's a pin marker. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's fine. fine. Well done, sniper. Pinged off the helmet. Still worth that'll it. That'll do. I think uh, it took the helmet off rather yes. than just hanging from it. <laughs> um, uh, my commander mm -hmm. is going to activate. Okay. Yep. And he's going to shoot. I'm going to issue with him. what? I'm going to issue a fire order. Okay. Yep. With whatever he's carrying. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle firing at your observer. My observer's pretty much useless. Oh, actually, no, he's worth a point. Yeah. yeah so, he yeah. is worth a point. That's absolutely right. Now, it's a, you're going to need a command check first, and you're yep. going to be single target in hardcover. You're going to be on sixes to hit him. So, yeah. Uh, but why not? Why not? <laughs> why not? Unless I choose a different target, one that's a bit more interesting. Yep. Um, like an LMG crew. The what, MMG. Down here? Or the MMG crew, yeah. I think that, that's probably, a that's better probably the better target. So, so. But yeah. we'll do my command check. Yes. That's fine. Pass. Now, you've rolled snake eyes here. Uh, um, obviously, yeah. we all know about and we love the foobar rule. If you ever rolled yeah. a, a double six when rolling a, um, a command check, yeah. something bad happens. Mm. If yeah. you roll a double one, something very good happens. You've actually understood the orders with such clarity, or you've got yourself you know, a rush of blood and, and everything makes sense now, you take an extra D6 pins off. 
Ah. Now, in this case, you've only got one. We only have the one, but it's But it's gone. great to know yeah. for, for going forward. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's worthwhile still doing that run move or still doing something, yeah. hoping you'll get more pins up. You see, I, I now just have the image of John's commander up there going, what do you do, what do you do? <laughs> I've got it. Mm. Gents, I know what we're up to. Yeah. And he turns around to find his two dead mates still lying there. He's like, oh. all right, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, take that shot. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, from that angle, you are, I think, is it within 12? Uh, I have a look. Yeah, it's within 12. Uh, we're over here. No, we're, oh, we're, we're the MMG crew. So, uh, yes, still within 12. Yep, yep. so we're within 12 with a soft cover there, so you're going to need fours to hit in this okay. case. Yep. So one dice, four, and again. Ah, <laughs> badly done. <laughs> Keep it in the field. Six. So that's okay. a hit, that's a big end, a pin away, so a four okay. plus to wound. Nicely yep. done. Okay, and All guy. those years of training. That's why he's an officer. <laughs> one guy goes from this unit, yeah? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So he, we'll remember that. He learned yeah. something at Sandhurst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. He well. has the biggest gun. Shoot him. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Germans, chance to react. What do they do? Now, you know with the fire, the flamethrower now, that that was only just millimetres within 12 inches. So the flamethrower is going to be out of range this time. Yeah. So uh, you've got to be careful, but you do have to get him forward at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, I'm going to pull off one of my classical shots that I always use in my games against John. Okay. My pack 40 is going to fire. Nice. It is going to fire yep. at uh, John's MMG team. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming you're going to go for HE no matter how poor an HE yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, the HE, yeah. Might as well because you're using a template now. So um, uh, you're in short range. Yep. Uh, so and it's got soft cover, so it's a straight 4 plus to hit. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Damn. it's a miss again. <laughs> Straight through. Big plume of smoke the other side. Yeah. Man, have you seen a pack 40 fire? Those things are scary. <laughs> yeah. I've heard them. It's enough to rattle you. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of rattling, <laughs> the MMG team's going to open up. <laughs> mm. Scared into uh, Scared into pulling the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you've got a couple of options in front of you. Yeah. So what shield. would you like? Um, well, the MMG crew has... Taken a hit already, yeah. So yeah. they're a bit weak. They've got a pin. Yeah. I'm going to keep the pressure on Absolutely, them. Yeah. No, one, one more casualty taken down. a hit. Does that make them a small team now? It does make them a small team. There's two guys left, so yeah. uh, it's going to be long range cover and a small team. So six is to hit, but it's still worth it. I think. Still five it's, dice. Yeah, yeah, as well, five so. dice. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a long dice. Go for it. There we go. Oh, That's three. Three. Do it. three hits. Wow. Okay, so I, at the very worst, I'm taking another pin. Yeah, yep. and then uh, four pluses to wound. Go for it. It's one, one. Uh, so it's another one killed, you're down to one guy, but he, obviously yep. he's lost half his squad at that yep. point. So, so 2d6, minus two. Yeah. And he's six, six. he's fine. Yes. Mm. I say fine, he's, he's a bit upset. He's not fine, he's just sitting there seeing his mates down yeah, around yeah. him and just going, all right, well, yeah. let's go. Yeah, pretty much. So he's going to have to reload himself. So for a, when a team goes down to one, mm. it affects him in a couple of different ways. The main one being he's an extra minus one to hit. Because mm. ah. he has to belt feed, you know, reload himself. Yeah. He's, he's doing it all. Yeah, so he's not as handy as he used to be. Right. A bit slower. Yeah. So good shooting there. <clears throat> Mortar yeah. team. Mm -hmm. um, Mortar team is going to try and have a go at these. Okay, in here? Yep. yep. Okay. So again, you're going for the fixed position, hoping he doesn't move again next time. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, you did force him forward the uh, the anti tank gun, there, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah. I was planning to shift it forward anyway, but yeah. Yeah. That's what he says now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was the plan. I had okay, so trying to range in on the six. Yep. Yep. And that's yep. a three. So uh, waiting for his turn. Yep. And allies again. Okay. So you've got your observer. Uh, yeah. You also have. No, that's it. That's your last dice. This is my so, last dice. Uh, yeah. So observer. observer, what does he want to do? Does he want to get out of there and well, save himself? Or my observer's to... armed too, though, isn't he? Does he have a rifle? Yeah, he's always got a rifle. Yep. So he's going to have a fire. I okay. think I know what he's going for as well. <laughs> Is he going to finish off that MG team? He's going to try MG team. Yeah. You know, the commander <laughs> has suddenly went, today I wish to be a sniper. The observer has said, good idea. Yeah. The MMG team has went, hey, I don't like those guys. Somebody turn that chainsaw off. And the sniper <laughs> team went, dude, did you see what we did to that guy's <laughs> helmet? <laughs> 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 okay then, so the observer's firing his rifle at the, yeah. the uh, platforms, uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, well, he, cover single target, small team now, so yep. fives, five fives. fives. A little bit tougher than it was before. Uh, no. Two. Sorry, no. So he obviously didn't, he, he went into officer's training rather than uh, yeah. on the range. <laughs> yeah, he skipped those days. What, what? Okay, okay so. so I don't know why I was uh, taking next to now. We're on to the last dice, so they're all, they're all gems. All me. So. Okay, uh, so my... We've got a squad over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, but... Uh, my flamer team is going to get an advance order. Yep. And they're going to be crazy and go right out into the middle of no man's land. You say crazy. 
they need to get in range at some point. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just if I can get to go first next turn, I'm happy for them to go first yeah. and do something. Absolutely. So give me my next dice, Jess. Okay, yep. Yeah, three units left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. What do I have left? You've I've got, got... Your, you've got an HQ section at the back, an yeah, HQ I'll, section here. I'm going to activate my HQ section and have them run. Because I want to bring them back up into contention and give them a few options for activating other stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put them just here, which I'm hoping is going to be just far enough away from the artillery. Yep. We'll see whether that works or not. Uh, this unit is just going to go down for the turn, because I don't want them moving anywhere. Okay. And my last one is over there. They the will observer. also go down. Okay. And I think that will do it. So, right. uh, tell you what, guys, we're going to take a quick break here. Uh, and when we come back, we'll finish up the game. Okay, guys, we are back for turn three. This is brutal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. brutal. Uh, unfortunately for me... Missed the dice there, so. yeah, oh, we missed one. We missed one. Uh, right, well, like I said, this is absolutely brutal for me. My left flank is pretty much crushed right now. I need to reinforce over here. Uh, the other side, I'm feeling a little more confident about. I've got stuff in the forest, but we are at the start of the turn, so this artillery does have to happen. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. going to be a big, big deal on that side. Ooh. John, how are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm... Pretty happy with how my right flank, just as that <laughs> flank is going. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have been nervous because obviously I have a lot of points in my armor. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, I, and I, I have, have lost one already. I have ten guys. Yeah, like, that is essentially my infantry force mm -hmm. against that. So I'm having to play very cautiously now that I've lost a Sherman and this one's coming under pressure. Okay. I need to utilize this and make it as effective as possible. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, Chaz, do you want to draw the first dice out? No, or first no? of all, we'll, uh, we'll go for the artillery. So, yeah. yeah, roll that dice again. So Four plus to see if it comes in. is here. Yep. So, see what's happening, John. Ranging in. One. And it's a one, so I'm afraid this is catastrophic oh, for, the, uh, for the British. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll put it up again. We're on the, the digital version. Yeah. Uh, and we will go for the section. I think this is good for me. Yeah, well, yeah, we, it, it, could, we, it could well be. So, a number one. Either the observer or the artillery battery has made a terrible mistake in the heat of battle. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yes. Mm. Or the lines have got crossed or something. <laughs> Do you so, say coordinates 435 or 342? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, you move the, the point uh, token by 3d6 inches in a random direction. So you don't automatically move. So that's oh, right. a, a change from the last one. Ah. Mm. Beforehand, you would just go, oh, I'll put it exactly there. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's what I was expecting there, because I tell you exactly where I was going to put it. On top of the tank. No, right here. <laughs> oh, okay. After you say, yeah, yeah, not so my much. infantry, please, my infantry. So it's a 3d6. 3d6, and right. then uh, um, in a random direction. Now, there are ways of doing random directions. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually you have uh, markings. I mean, this isn't uh, the, the template. This is obviously pre-production, so we yeah. don't have a finished template mm -hmm. yet. Uh, on the finished template, there will be numbers on a wheel. And you roll yeah. a d6 to do that. Or you can uh, roll a, an orders dice, because it's got there on it. There's all sorts of ways. Yeah. So roll three dice, okay. and that's the distance it's going. Uh, so it's going a whopping 16 inches, and if, if right. Justin, if you look on... I'll, you, you, you roll, roll that. Okay. Yeah, you roll the, the direction. And see which direction it goes. Oh dear. It's going that way, back towards the, uh, the artillery. <laughs> right observer. towards the observer. That could 16 be inches. hilarious. It's on his On his head. head. <laughs> brilliant. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> right in Call it down now. Oh, sugar. One of those black specks there getting big. Artillery command. Artillery command. German spotter in <laughs> yeah. the houses. Which houses? <laughs> The big houses. The big houses. Okay, those big houses. That'll do. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> right, so I'm in trouble now. Um, yeah, well, that doesn't go off again till next turn. No, no, it goes off right now. So you resolve oh, it as if the artillery function is fired. Oh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, right, the area around the the aiming point is plastered with heavy shells, blasting the enemy to smithereens. Roll a dice for each unit. Friend and enemy within d6 plus six. So uh, see how uh, effective your barrage was. So everybody within nine. Everyone. So uh, have a quick measure. So uh, HQ units. HQ, already. sniper, MG. Yeah, MG is, any is enemy? Any no. What about the flamethrower? Not. Oh, it is. Just about. Just so, about. so something might happen to them as well. Can I go down on this? Uh, you will be able to go down as well, yeah. So on a result of... So roll for every unit individually as you go. Mm -hmm. um, roll on a 1 to a 5. It's not already hit, but you take extra... You take D3 pin markers. Okay. Uh, and on a 6, you've been hit by heavy howitzer. <sighs> I would like to go down. <laughs> well, yes. I'd like to declare that now if I can. Let's start with the stuff in here then. Okay, yeah? sure. So we'll start with the observer. The observer okay. Himself. Okay, so uh, a one he's, one. So he's taking D three pin markers. Okay, okay so, so we'll D three. Call it D three. Three, three. three pins. This is hilarious when this happens. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Best laid plans. Unfortunate. Yep, very much so. Uh, do you want to roll the next one, Justin? Well, uh, so yeah, sure. Sniper. For the sniper. 
A four. Uh, it takes D3 pin markers as well, so roll a D3. Ah! Uh, two. That's another two pin markers. Okay. Do you want me to roll the next as well, John? For your yeah, commander? go Might for it. Two for him. Uh, three. That's D3 pin markers as well. And he's taken three. Taking three. Yep. My flamer team. Him. Uh, yep. <laughs> three. Taking pin markers as well. Three for him. And, and three. three. So, so they're okay. This uh, that was so you didn't need to go down because obviously you weren't hit by it. So okay, uh, okay. Mm. Did the MG team get any? Oh no, and Rolf the MG team as well. Well spotted. Yeah. Okay, and... okay, two, two. two. So uh, they're taking one pin. One pin. One pin. Uh, I've ran out of pin markers. <laughs> 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 here. Okay, ran out of pin. Markers. Yeah, I can't think, uh, take any more. Next time I get fire. a set of these made, I need to make more. Yes. Yep. No, they're they're great. So there we go. So now you can take the token off. And, mm -hmm. and he's never going to call in that again, obviously. No. That's the risk you take. So 3d6, you would have thought you were in a safe position there. Mm, yeah. But you rolled quite high on that and it came yeah. back directly towards you and affected yeah. a lot. I mean, it could have gone it could have gone anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, so yeah. Um, I think we'll probably go to the turn proper, shall we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that's uh, time to do this. So, okay, Germans. So on me to begin with. Now, don't forget your HQ sections can move multiple units if you yeah. really are desperate to do it this turn. Uh, hmm. I'm going to have, uh, I am going to have my commander go. Okay. So, he's going to get an advance order here, and yep. he's going to activate my pack 40. Yep. And this squad here. Okay, mm -hmm. so he doesn't need a test to, to do it, so it's automatic. Yep, so these are going to get a fire order. Yep. I'm going to go for another HE shell over there. Very nice. Uh, these guys are going to get an advance order. Very good. Which I think should work out quite nicely. So, okay, so, uh, uh your... Resolving um, commander. Yep. He's advancing... Further up into the forest here, yeah, but staying outside of it. It's an orchard. It's a pretty orchard. You can well, pick he's staying out of the orchard. Okay, staying out of the orchard. The other guys, they're going to move they're on. They're going to go scrumping. They're going to go pinching apples, <laughs> and uh, so, seeing what comes of it. Well, they still have two Panzerfeists. They do, and I don't like that Firefly. Mm. He doesn't. So, <laughs> Mr. Firefly, uh, I'm sorry to say. Two Panzerfeists directly at you. Mm -hmm. okay. I am within range. Yeah, you're in range, but you're at longer range this time. It's a 12 inch range, you're over six. Yep. So uh, you're going to be on fives to hit this time. Mm -hmm. So two shots. Two shots needing fives to hit. I uh, think I can do this. You might be able to. Oh, no. one and a th two. Fluffed. So there we go. Fluffed. But hey, they've been great so far, the Panzerfeists. So, uh, yep, they have. Overall, uh, certainly worth their points. Right, next up, mm. the Pack 40 yep. is going to be shooting. That MMG team, yep, the HE again, again. With HE. Yeah, of course, right. So we said a four, didn't we? So uh, yep. you missed last time, theoretically. Nothing's changed. A oh. Three again, so they've missed. Damn. That's okay. Well, there's still another turn left, so yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you've still got it. It's in a great position, that pack 40. Yeah. So, another one. Okay. Uh, mm, Your other HQ going? section has got one dice to drag with them if you really want it, or have you got something more important? No, no, no. I'm going to try and activate the flamers. Nice. I'm going to try them. I'm going to give them an advance order. Yep. So they are minus three, but they are in range of the second lieutenant. Yep, this so, is one, so minus two overall, so seven or less on yep. two dice. Please don't foobar, please don't foobar. <laughs> no, you you're foobar, you're and they got six. Yep, so they, they lose, lose one pin. pin mm -hmm. Which I'm quite happy about. Okay. And then away they go. It's time to burn out your commander, because he has been annoying me. He hasn't done anything to you. He did everything. He did all the things. <laughs> he did all the things. So, <laughs> commander's here. Yep. I so, advance uh, my six. right towards him. You're definitely going to be within six. Oh, yep. yeah. And you shall learn of the changes of the flamethrower. There was changes. Actually, well, you know, in the discussional point we had before okay. this, obviously flamethrowers made one change to yeah. to make them a lot more balanced. That's it. <laughs> they now roll to hit. Okay. Yeah. So you have two pins on you. So you yeah. have a base of threes. You ignore or cover because yeah. flames obviously go in and around. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Else. That's what that's so, fives. So you're going to need fives to hit. To so stay five. Uh, on so one, one roll to die. One dice. Hey! And you still burn, so there we go. Wow. So, burn! Uh, so now roll a d6 to see how many hits. Uh, six. 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 Many, many, many hits. You are very much on fire. I believe you have taken a spray directly to the face. So you take d3 plus one pin markers if you survive, but I wouldn't worry about that right now. <laughs> I'd probably just roll the hits and see if he's dead. Dead, dead, dead. He is uh, dead, just dead. about dead. Yeah. He is just about dead. There's a lot of ones. <laughs> he hits the deck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but hey, so... It's probably worth mentioning that uh, obviously you normally you can go down from reaction and stuff like that. Going mm. down doesn't affect yeah. the, the hit from the front. It ignores, so that wasn't, so it ignores yeah, dying as well. It just ignores dying, which yeah. is cover safe. Yeah, absolutely. But I got your commander, and so I get his dice. He get his dice. Mm. Well, he did good. He, you know, he killed half the machine gun team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah the the flamethrower horrible, but was did risky. And he's out in the middle of nowhere. It now, did, did its job. I'm content with that. Job. Okay, next dice is an allied one. 
Oh. So what are we going? We've got you've got your right flank pretty strong coming across, but it's got a lot to counter. You've got a few things over here. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to activate the Firefly. Okay. So uh, okay. you've got two pins, uh, four pins, of course, because it, uh, it, it took a lot it of got hits. brewed up, didn't it, from yeah, the thing? It took a lot so, of So uh, you're going to need a, a test on five or less to, to do anything at all. Or you can rally. Or you can rally, exactly, yeah, which is a nine or less, which gives you a really good chance of going down to zero pins and in the last turn coming out and, and smashing. Yeah. Um, he's got... He's got rid of all of his yeah, because all yeah, all the Panzer yeah. are gone. Right, I'll try a, I'll try rallying. Them. Yeah, it's a okay. it's a good good choice now. I mean, rally was one of those ones that you never really wanted to do in the previous edition because mm -hmm. you only wanted to do it when you've got lots of pins on you. Yeah, but it was almost impossible to pass it. So huge now. It, it's such a great option. So nine. nine so flat. you've passed because you don't count the pins. Yeah. So you lose one and an extra D six. So uh, roll a D six. Two, two. two, so you're down to one pin only. Mm -hmm. It still brings them back to being almost super effective again. Exactly, and obviously if you pass your test next turn, you're going to have no pins when you count yeah. out your order. So yeah. that's great. All Absolutely right. great. So all the work I did locking it down has now, now come to naught, I'm you. afraid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this leaves me in a quandary. Mm -hmm. uh, what I think I'm going to activate now, I'm going to activate my mortar. Yep. So I'm going to give him a fire order. Now he's here. So, I think what I'm going to shoot at from here is all the way across here to John's infantry. Mm -hmm. If that's okay, Chaz, is it? Yeah. Do they have a line of sight? First uh, of all. Get, get down to, uh, to the, their eye. No, I'm going to say no. <laughs> so, uh, they can either wait in, in hope that they, uh, the, the no, infantry no. reveal themselves. They, they will then just fire back at that uh, same target as last time. Yeah. Sure. Which I, I believe I missed. Correct. So, is this the third time they've shot at the same target? No, uh, second time. Second time. Second time, yeah, yeah. So you're on a five to on a five. range. Yeah. Yeah. Into That's five. Good. good job. Yes. There we go. So, again, in very interestingly, I will bring up the the weapons chart here. Yeah. On I the weapons chart this now. This is a HE, yeah? This is a, an HE, yep. Yeah, it's a medium mortar. Mm -hmm. So it's got HE and it's a two inch template. Okay. So what you do now is you take this. This is a, a two and a three inch on, on somebody else's template, but you, mm -hmm. take, the, you take the inner ring. Place it, now you have to place it over as many models as you can in the squad. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If you happen to catch other squads at the same time, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But you always have to go for the most in one squad. So right. very simply, template over three hits, not okay. three dice to win. So instead of rolling that D6 and then rolling the dice then, mm -hmm. you just go three hits, done, go. Yeah, because you could end up with a one one guy taking six hits on him. Exactly, yeah. yeah that, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of not sure about the flamethrower, to be honest with you, yep. with it doing that, that D6 hit. Mm -hmm. you know, but well, it, it's always done D6 hits, but you, it, all that's happened now is you're adding the roll to, to hit. It's always yeah. done automatically D6 hits yeah. before. Okay. So um, uh, the only thing you're doing is, is putting it in line with all the other weapons. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's right, in case well, it failed kill, to yeah. force. Yeah. Well, before that, oh, what that's... a shot. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, effective, shall we say. Very. Um, another point for me. Which I'm mm. quite content about. Is <laughs> three here, so everybody can see them. <laughs> <laughs> mm. victory. Victory. Not okay. assured by any means, to be honest with no, you. No, no. Well, it's only three two right now. Yeah. And, uh... Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to activate my puma. Sure. So my puma, I think, is it's just going to drive regularly. So it's just going to get an advance. Yep. Uh, where's advance on this? Here. <laughs> you get so. a couple of maneuvers because you're wheeled. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it is just going to. Actually, it's not. It's just going to sit there and fire. Okay. Because I can see that Sherman. Yep. It's got cover, it and I would say it's hard cover because I can see very little of it. Definitely, but it's in short range. So you need doing a five to hit. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Boom, boom. So roll here. Into five. Hit. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and you're on the side, so uh, yep. you're looking at a four to penetrate. Okay. Mm. I can live with that. You can live with that, he says. Four. There we go. Come so gets... on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling numbers. And then see how bad the uh, the actual damage is. And I'm changing dice. Okay, John? Just so you see. Different. <laughs> Actually, I'll take a white dice. Uh, see? Right, fine. Go the white dice always roll sixes. Is that just a... <laughs> Oh, five. no, it's a five. But it's enough to destroy Almost it anyway. a six, though. Boom. So that Sherman uh, gets brewed up as well. Yeah. Mm. Pop. I have had to really tailor this list, though, to actually be effective. Yeah. So that's four VP to me. Mm -hmm. uh, John, what are you on to? Two. Okay. So, yeah, so there's still lots of little things you can pick off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To pick up those points. Okay, allies. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Um, so, something worth noting in, in this one, I, we spoke about it before. The, the transports beforehand, once they'd unloaded their crew, we, were defunct. Yeah. Nowadays, they can still fire one weapon mm -hmm. system. Oh. So, you've got LMG over there, which is four dice. So, if mm -hmm. you wanted to, to maneuver that into a position where you could perhaps 
finish off the flamethrower team and still be quite safe, yep. you, can, you can do that. Yeah, I think I will do that. Okay. So this little guy over here will activate. Yep. Yep. And he's safe more or less from this stuff, I think. Yeah. yeah. You've got a lot of terrain over there. You can you can come. So nine. Yep. We'll bring him to there. Yep. Okay. So he's just sitting in the gate. And I assume one of the crew has now jumped onto the brain gun. Yeah. And exactly. it's just going, right, there you are. Yeah, yep. it's uh, something that, that most vehicles should be able to do is to mm -hmm. fire a weapon. You always had a co-driver and stuff like this, so yeah. there would always be yeah. that and guy. And you would always assume there would be someone sensible enough to jump on a gun if yeah. it was there. Yeah. Right, so we are on... You're going to have four dice? Yep, we yeah. have four uh, dice. The range, is it within six? Uh, Looks to it. Very close. Easy. Very close. And the front weapon? You are? I'm yep. in six inches. From yeah, okay, the so gun. you've got moved and small team to make it a five, and then point blank to make it a, a uh, four. four. Okay. So four shots on four. Oh, wow. good shooting Three. takes. There we go. So again, it shows you that that would have been done nothing yeah. in the previous edition, and now so it's actually got a huge role to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, so. you're paying 60, 70 points for it with the uh, the extra weapon, so mm -hmm. it's got to be worth its points. Definitely. Uh, okay, so three rolls to wound. Yep. Uh, Lead looking for fours. There we go. Pop up. I'm pop afraid up. the flamethrower came out, killed the uh, yes the lieutenant, and it's now itself paid the, the ultimate price. Very That's cool. Four three. Yeah. Uh, Quick question. Yes. Are these pins on yes. this unit? Yes? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, I just wanted to make sure of that because I was a little unsure. Mm. <laughs> again, always check. Over to me again. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Um, I think the other carrier will move now. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, he's, so he's got the taste for it now, hasn't he? Uh, <laughs> so nine inch movement. So nine inch move. With, with a 90 degree I'll turn. I'll take that tree with me. Yep. <laughs> but it always helps to clear terrain in, oh, yeah, yeah. when it's in your way. So it was there. Yeah. Yeah, roughly. Near enough. Yep. That'll do. What are you shooting at this time? Right, this carrier is going to fire at your observer. At my observer? Yes. So you're yeah, a I'll give you a line there. Yeah, definitely. Small team, in hard terrain, and you've moved. You're going to be uh, now an impossible shot, but even so, well worth it. So four dice. Yep. Looking for sixes. Okay. Two. Two. Oh, there's that. Sorry, uh, sixes followed by sixes for sixes the nine followed impossible by sixes. shot. Yeah, so, so roll those two dice again. Yep. Sixes to hit. And there's One. a hit. So yeah, like we said, always worth it. Four to kill. Okay. So, uh, and then um, roll to wound. Mm-hmm. No, no it's not. but it's okay. He's yeah, taking a he's taking yeah. a pin. It's yeah, I'll give him a, a pin marker here. He did Always nothing to you, John. No. He did it. Well, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he did he tried absolutely to call, nothing this game. Do you know what? He he called in the plane that they shot down, and now they're after him. Yes. All right. <laughs> we know who it was. Right, <laughs> Germans react. Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to activate my veteran squad and give them an advance order. Yep. Because they haven't really done much this game, but I think they're about to. So, okay. advance for them. Yep. So six inch move. Yep. Can I get into a position where I can see you? I think I can. Yeah, yeah they're really tough. I've Maybe got one a couple or two. of guys. Doesn't have to be everybody. Yeah. And the and other guys. These guys are veterans. They know what they do. Mm -hmm. There. Pile them all up on the crates. It looks great. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, I think I've got five of them that can just about see you there. I think so. He's definitely yeah. going to have uh, hard cover from the uh, the show. That's absolutely fine. Uh, but... Okay, so we were talking about the assault rifles before having an 18-inch range now. Yes. So the, the means the short range is 9 inches, so if you want to double-check that. Mm -hmm. All right, so 9-inch range for short range. Uh, the front two are in short range. Okay, so do those uh, four dice first. Okay. So, so short range. Yep. Uh, no minuses for moving. Right. And minus two for the cover. Okay. So uh, you're looking for fives for those, uh -huh. and then you're going to have six dice on sixes. Okay. So these, uh, one. one. Yep, and then six more dice. On sixes, yeah. Yep. Right, so I'm going to grab two more. And, and two, two more. So three so hits all three together. Total. So a pin and it, for that unit. And, yep. uh, and I would say it would probably have to be the back unit, because they would be the easier to see, yeah? Or the front unit? Uh, no, you're shooting at the front unit because okay. um, the short range and everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. Good point. Um, okay, three so rolls to wound. Three rolls to wound. Come on, kill somebody. <laughs> one dies. Just the one. One. Yeah. Okay, so. But that unit is a guy, a set of three, which means no morale check. Not this turn. Not yet. Yeah, not this turn. But hey, the, you know, veterans with the side rifles are still yeah. grim. But it does mean John now has to think about those. Absolutely, but mm. not before you do another unit. So yeah, you've mm. still got you've got a one-man weapon team. Yeah, you've got your uh, your medium house there with the one hundred and five mm. recoilless. Yeah, uh, I'm going to fire the recoilless. Yep. because I was able to fire at the the Sherman, wasn't I? No, I think we s you went for you went for the ah, yes. thing before. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you've still got a mortar to shoot at. Uh, okay, you've seen yeah. how effective yeah. template is. Yeah, yeah. I'll 
I'll take a, a shot at the mortar mm -hmm. that's a way, way up there. Yep, way over here. Completely off shot. Which shot is he in? That there. one. There. So. Yeah, I'll take a shot at the mortar, which is way, way up there. Way up here in the corner. So, how far away is that? Oh. Oh, well, we can't measure that yet, can we? Well, we... well I am firing, so <laughs> yeah. I can measure. Would you like to go down? Uh, so if he does hit, it halves the uh, Yes, actually. The I okay. think I'm going to keep them... Keep them down. Keep so them uh, safe. Now you measure. So I'll take the uh, the dice out. So okay. So, so what is our distance? Measure across. And 24. Go. Yep, it's a good job you went down. Okay, so you're going to be looking for sixes now. Okay, on one dice. One dice. Let's see what I can do. Oh, no, nope, it's a miss. Yep. Unfortunate. Okay. Oh. Live with that. Okay, so allies. Allies. Great. <laughs> so you've got your infantry over the far side. Yep. Got an observer with a rifle. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you might have one other thing somewhere. I have a sniper team. Ah, ah yes. <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky sniper team. Okay. Oh, okay. Although yeah. they have pins on them. Yeah, they lots, all have pins on them. Lots of pins. Um, the sniper team is going to make uh, an advanced move, I think. Okay. Uh -huh. um, no. They're going to run. Okay. Okay. They're going to try and run. Yep. So obviously as long as you're not getting through a room, but you're coming from it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But they have to do a test where they have two pins Correct. on them as well. Yeah. So. so That's a pass. That looks so you good go down to, to one pin and can carry out your move. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Ah, this won't turn. <laughs> we know it's one. <laughs> <laughs> so they're okay. running. They're onto one. Put it wherever you need, yeah. There's a knack for those things. Yeah. Yeah, there is a little bit of a knack to them. But once you have it, they are really easy to use. Yeah. And what they're going to do uh -huh. is they're going to come out of the back here, yep. uh -huh. go through this space, and take up position over here. Sounds good. Oh dear. I, yeah. I to be fair, to... there was a door right there. Do <laughs> well, you know what? It sounded better in my head. <laughs> hey, and why not? And they take okay. the pin with them, and they take, they the, take the order with them. With them. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's nice and easy. Okay, the, the heat's obviously getting to all of us. Yeah. Okay, boys. It, it is ridiculously warm in here. Right. Now I'm going to activate my MMG. Okay. So I'm going Seen to give the target. Him, yep, I'm going to give him a fire order from here. Okay. At that sniper team. Right. Which so I think he, is the right choice. Yeah. So he's got two pins on him. So I have to roll uh, with a minus one because my HQ is right beside him. Yep. So uh, roll the two dice and let's see what he gets. A five. Oh, yeah, five, nice, yeah. easily passed. So loses a uh, a pin. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he is, however, firing with an additional minus one for being a one man team. Yes. So it's, who's he going for? He's going for the sniper team. Okay. So uh, you're looking at. Uh, long range. Yep. Soft cover. Yep. Uh, small, small team. team. So that's yep. minus three and an additional minus one. So you're on sevens. Yep. So sixes followed by sixes. Yep. But I am getting six shots. Six dice. Yeah. yeah. It's great, isn't it? We'll yeah. do dice. Which I'm hoping will be enough to do. So okay. So I've got two possibles. Two. Sixes again. No. Oh. Not this time. Not Unfortunate. This time. Very good. Right. Allies. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, it was wrong. worth the shot, though. Uh, it's always worth the shot. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. This infantry section over here, the yep. larger one that has no pins on it, sure. mm -hmm. is going to make an advanced move. Very good. They're uh, going to come round. They're going to try and come round. Uh huh. And yeah, so what they're going to do is they're going to swing up round here. All right, yep. so where are we going to? Like here? Six inches. I'm going to keep them along this hedgerow. Yep. All right, so six inches with the front guy here, yeah? Yeah. There we okay. Go. There. So if they're shooting at the veterans, which uh, they will be, who are pretty much in the open right now. Yeah. But they're veterans, so they, they don't care. They're pretty tough to kill anyway. Yep. So that's you can have me. five rifle shots at short range. Mm -hmm. Now you've advanced, so you're on fours to hit. Mm -hmm. So fours. Yep. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Two that's, misses. Yep. Okay. So three hits, which is a pin, and then you're needing fives to wound because they're veteran status. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my veterans are here. That's the pin. <laughs> triple one! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ping, 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 ping. Can, so I, can I get a FUBAR on triple one? No. It just shows how well veterans use cover and, and things Clear, like that. Yeah. You know, they might not have actually been behind it, but they can confuse, <laughs> confuse the enemy. Yeah, I'm so, not there, look at me. Okay, so what do I have left to go here? Hmm. Uh, you have a couple of things. You've got your observer, I do believe. Yeah. You've got your, your central HQ section. Uh, I tell you what's actually going to happen. Uh, over here, these yep. guys are just going to go down. Or yeah. Actually, they may as well... Yeah, they'll just go down. Okay. Because I, I don't want them dying this turn. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay, sure. Yes. I have a cunning plan. He has a cunning plan. Mm. Yes. Okay, let's see what the cunning plan does against another British dice. Yep. So, uh, Observer, maybe? Observer is going to issue himself a fire order. Yep, uh -huh. so test at minus one. Uh, it was more. 
<laughs> more, yes. He, he got, he got I think he got three. He, he has like three pins on him. Let's, or let's more. put it out. That's why you hit it, perhaps. Yeah, it's yep. three. Okay. Test at minus three. So you're looking for sixes. You can Jeez, do it. I better not use these good dice. <gasps> He's got red <laughs> dice, everybody. And ah, they are. So uh, there we go. They go down. The red to... dice don't roll very well. <laughs> uh, they don't roll very well for hitting. They roll very well for morale. Yeah. Is, yeah. Right, this one doesn't spin very well. No, okay. that's fine. Change that down to two. Well done, sir. Uh, so, <coughs> uh, I, I tell you what, it, it's the humidity in here. Yeah, I think it yeah. is. The, um, it's all getting Thank a bit you. sweaty, guys. Yeah. The observer is going to fire his rifle tense. at the L at the MMG. Absolutely. So okay, you're on an so extra minus two one more shot down because here. of the pins. Yep. yep. So, uh, so you're on three basic. Six v six. I th yeah, I think so. Six and six, six again. Sixes and sixes. No nope. four. But again, if you rolled snake eyes and got rid of more dice, that would have been one thing. And again, next time you got another chance. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and last allied movement. Yeah, which your... is this section over here, this yeah. two man section. So, there. how many pins yeah, are on so that unit? They have two. So, you're on a seven or less for your 2d6 test. Yeah. Here we go again. And they pass. So, down okay. to one pin. And what yeah. are they going to do? I'll take care of that. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, they're going to. Are they going to try and put another pin on the veteran unit? I think they are, yeah. They're yeah. going to advance. So, leap, okay. leapfrog in front of the. Uh... Mm hmm. They're basically. Yeah. Would you like gonna... me to do it? You're basically going to pass through. They okay. can, you can pass you, through, or you can't go through the Sorry. middle of things. So yeah, you, you can go around the front up. and make sure you leave an inch. So you've got, you got plenty of movement to do it. Yeah, so there you, you go. That's fine. Cool. Okay, so two shots at my Maybe. crack elite unit. Exactly, and you're on. You're within six. So mm -hmm. you're, you're so three basic, minus one for moving four, minus one for the pin five, up to uh, four because of the, how close you are. So okay, yeah. two shots on fours. It's always worth doing. Yep. Oh, no. it adds up to a fourth miss. But not yeah. enough for a hit. Yes. Oh, well. And that could make a big difference over there. Okay? Mm -hmm. No, there should okay. be two left. For there me. should be two left, and there is two left. Yes. So I am going to just activate my commander with my forward observer. Yep. So uh, what I'm going to do is my commander who's here mm -hmm. is just going to go down. My forward observer, however, yep. is going to try and activate and go yep. for an advance. Sure. So uh, how many pins has he got? Just uh, one. Just the one. So uh, he cancels out with the HQ, so he's on a nine or less. Yep. Uh -huh. And he rolled an eight, eight. so he passed. So the goes away. And then he can do six inches in any direction. Which way is he going? He's going towards the transports. Why? Well, unmanned transports, exactly the same as it was in the first oh. edition, disappear. And I'm that's 2VP right there, just for him walking forward and going ooga booga. So they got a bit carried away with their, their new uh, tactics of come forward and shooting and, and doing like that. And the, the yes. to be fair, the observer stuck his head out in a pretty nasty place there. He might get jumped on in a minute. Yeah, but I'm getting two for one. You're getting two you for know, one. Yeah, I, can, I can live one. with those odds. There we go. So, jump across. Yeah. There are words that spring to my mind, Justin, but none of which I can say on video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they bug out. Well, there we go. That could swing there. There we go. So yeah. All well, the dice was, back into the bag. It was easy, easy victory points there. There's no such thing as an easy victory point. He walked out. Okay, that was an easy victory <laughs> I didn't have to roll dice <laughs> to gain the victory points no. there, which is why I thought, you know what, worthwhile. Yeah. It's why I was constantly holding and holding and holding and hoping yeah. John wouldn't notice him. Yeah. When he shot at me, I was just like, oh no, my plan. Mm. Yeah, you had a chance to kill him now. That's a very, very good point. I did try to take the chance, yeah, so, yeah. you know. No, I, was I mean, the other thing to do there, if you to play this through again, the two-man section there could have advanced this way onto the crate. Back to the carriers. Which would have stopped that from being able to yeah, happen in the yeah. first place because they would have been closer. So a very simple change, mm -hmm. um, one which you well, now obviously would, would definitely have done. Yeah, but, uh, it's it, it was just what I was looking at. I was thinking, okay, if John doesn't and I can hold him right to the yeah. end, yeah. that's where I'm going to gain too. Yeah. Okay, so uh, quite a difference now, but there's a lot of things in the German army that can be picked off or, oh, or killed. Hopefully we missed one. Yeah, you did. Uh -huh. There we go. So, turn four. Mm -hmm. So beginning the Germans. Me. The Germans. Mm. What's more important now? Uh, honestly, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to activate my my veteran squad. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to give them a fire order. Okay. And they will shoot from where they are. Everybody's seeing this two-man unit. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So small team behind cover. Yep. So take the test to see if you pass. So two dice, here's hoping. Uh, five, five. That's fine. Yep. So they lose their pin. And now and you're going to go for... Everybody four. gets to fire. Twelve shots. Oh. Two, four, six... Eight, ten, twelve. And you're looking for fives. Yeah, which I think is doable on twelve dice. Um, one, two, three. Hits. Three. Yep. So it's a pin on them. So there's yeah. Go back back up to two pins and then see if they survive the three hits. Shouldn't really matter. I'll just do the he three hits. Says here. 
One dice. So just the one goes down. So you need a, uh, a morale check because you lost 50% of your squad. Mm -hmm. See if he stays in. This could be a huge moment. Mm -hmm. If he Two holds. Pins. If he holds. If he holds. No. But he doesn't. He ran away really, really quick. All my friends have died. Ah! So that's another unit gone. Yep. I guess well, the they haven't the acted this turn, so they, yeah, their dice come out. So you're really starting to rock and roll on the advantage on the dice now. Yeah, well, mm. currently I'm on seven, seven <laughs> victory. Yeah. Over uh, three. How many do you have, John? Three. Yeah. I'm afraid to say that the, uh, the the tank platoon hasn't got its points back in this game so far. I mean, no. you still, you can take single shots and, and still bring your points back, so don't... Ah, but you still have the, the medium machine guns exactly. on that, that yep. you could maybe shred something with? Yep, well, just the one, but... Um, oh, know, yeah, yeah, it's got a Firefly. Yep. Yeah, so Germans again. Okay. Uh, my next target... Hmm. Actually, where was your, uh, your squad over here? I took out your medium machine gun. Where was it? About there. It was about, about there. there. Yeah. yeah. It's a different squad, though. Different target. You'd have to start to range in again. Ah, right. So it's not location. It's not on the board. It's, oh, it's not like target. the airstrikes or anything yeah, like yeah. that. That's fine. No, I, I just wanted to clear that. <laughs> yeah, up. you can't wait for a, a fresh body to run into the same uh, crater mark yeah. and then just go, <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, boom. <laughs> well, I am going to put the fire order onto these. Yep. And they are going to target that sniper squad. Sure. So I think that's, that's my best, best option. So now, I'm assuming you need him to shoot this turn. So the chance that he's not going to want to go down, is he? Okay. So, uh, so a three. Fixed, so no. fine. Good. Next out. Uh, basically, rotivate at someone's garden by mistake. Yep. Yeah. So, okay, you've got a couple of guys out in the open here. Yeah. You've got something that may or may not want to go. It's, it's pretty safe at the moment, but mm. hey, uh, what do you want to do next? Well, you do have a, a juicy target in my, uh, my Puma that's sitting here, but it is a recce vehicle. Yeah. Yep. Well, we're going to try and. Activate the, uh, get this guy up fly. and running again, so yeah. he's going to be issued with an advance, uh -huh. yep. and he's going to roll his leadership with one pin. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep, so it's so a pass, so he takes the last pin off and he can do yep. whatever he wants. Excellent, finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me. Um, Fire Firefly, Firefly is going to... Ooh, because that's there. I don't like that. But it's only a medium height, so it's not a particularly great anti-tank gun at all. Mm -hmm. We're going to trundle, trundle, trundle. Yep. With our advance, we have line of sight to the Puma. Yep. And we're going to fire on the Puma. Uh, okay, so... Can I wreck you? Yep, you can wreck you just like you did in the old run. You can take your uh, your dice out mm -hmm. and make a uh, manoeuvre backwards. Yeah, um, through trees. Through trees. Well, you'd have to make your, your turn first and then go yeah. back. So, but you I can pivot to. twice being a, a wheel, wheeled vehicle, mm. so you can... Uh, uh, no. No, I I want it to shoot this turn. So here, in the bag. Okay, okay. Oh, in the bag. Okay, okay. fair enough. <laughs> uh, right. So, so take the shot. Right. So right. you're you're obviously going to be at short range. There's yep. no cover, mm -hmm. so it's a straight. You've moved. So yeah. Force. force. So off you go. <laughs> Boom. Ah! Boom. There that, we go. That was the risk I took. Finally, a vehicle has done something. Well, <laughs> to be fair, he chewed up some infantry. The, the second Sherman like, did something. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, now you're on, a, you're on a whopping plus whatever it is you want to add. So roll the dice. Super heavy anti-tank gun. Don't roll a one. <laughs> you didn't two, roll, roll the two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll assume that'll do the job. It certainly will do the job, yeah. That, that's fine. So roll a d6 on the, uh, the table. And Five. it destroys it, yeah. yeah blows, the, uh, blows the turret off, blows the wheels off. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to wreck it? <laughs> uh, oh, how he laughed. Oh, no. But no, it's, it's a serious option sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. Now, um, one thing that didn't come up, if you did, uh, if the recce vehicle had already acted this turn, Aye. it wouldn't have been able to have the option even. Yeah. It can't do right. both in the same turn anymore. So, okay, so that, that's quite a big change for your recce huge, vehicle. Mm -hmm. Huge change. That's fine. Okay, so uh, that dice comes out of the bag that you so kindly put back in there and goes oh, into that cool. side now. Oh, yeah. Okay, next dice out is Me. the Allies. I'm, I'm We're getting, getting tired. <laughs> um, my sniper team is yeah. going to fire. Okay, so... They have one pin, so they need to see it. Yep, see if they can yep. do it. Yep, they're fine. Nine, so uh, there we go. So they mm -hmm. take their, their pin off. Yep. And now you've got a couple of choices. You've got the last member of a machine gun team to take out, which is a dice. Yep. Uh, or you, you can this. ignore the gun shield and shoot one of the guys off there, but it doesn't if really do If you shoot do the gunner, does the weapon not... Uh, not on a uh, a piece like this, only on the team weapon. Okay. Stuff like that. Or important. you can go for a, a team bit I'm over here. Something or, more valuable to I me. think so. I yeah. think yeah. so. So let's so, have a go. So you're going after my medium machine. So gun. single yep. target behind the hedge. Uh, small team. Five. Uh, yeah, yeah, single, sorry, small team rather than single target. So small team behind the hedge. It's six. a six. That's, That's a hit. hit. Great hit. Um, yeah. And then roll to wound. We're up. 
Uh, no, oh. but it is another pin. <laughs> yeah. That dice is eluding me. <laughs> it oh. is. Next out is another allied one. So Excellent. You, uh, what did your mortar shoot at last time? It was on the. Uh, it was on the. Um, so you're you're yeah. down to a four now. So this yeah. this could be quite important. All right. Or you've got your observer. You've got a few other bits and pieces. Well, let's yeah. let's fire the mortar now that we know. Okay. So yep. Okay. So you get chance to use the template. The template yep. again this time okay. if you hit. Yep. Fours. Uh, would yep. you like to go down, knowing that it's a four plus this time? You would halve the number. No, I want to shoot. Okay. Yeah. It's it's, a, it's no guts, no glory right now. Sure, and four. it's a hit. Four. It's a hit. So again, instead of rolling d6, you just go, yeah, they've all been hit. Three, uh, roll three dice. Mm -hmm. On four. see how quick it is using the templates now. Uh, and two die. Two of them die, yep. Um, so everybody but the gunner. One might be exceptional. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And because it's a heavier uh, weapon, a force an enough. exceptional can kill a heavier piece. Yeah. Ah. So uh, it's all based on the, the how so heavy. Still there with one gunner, yep. and it's got a pin. And it's got a pin. But you killed two, so you need a test, because you've lost over half your uh, Yep, your okay. Mm. It's risky. Come on. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Oh, okay, because they only got one. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Interesting. You know, really chewing them up here. Mm. Clack. Back. Mm. <laughs> Where do I want to go? <laughs> Where do we want to go? <laughs> uh, I am going to lob a HT shell from here at that mortar down the back. At the mortar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So I assume. It's going to be a four. There's no real intervening cover that they're behind. It's Come on, definitely can short I get range. It this time? Yes. I can. Yeah. So that's going to be a HE shell on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, that three guys. It'll be a two inch, but yeah, it's going to catch all three. Yep. So three shots. Ah. <laughs> no. One, one, two. Yeah. Just a so it uh, just takes the pin. Ah. Okay. Okay. Next so up. Singed the eyebrows off. <laughs> all right. Uh, next up, I'm going to try for the medium machine gun. Oh, I should have been rolling for him, shouldn't I? Nope, it you took did. enough. Oh, I did? Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to fire over this. I have mm -hmm. to roll for it. You haven't actually activated this yet. You've activated that. And that oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yep. Sorry. So I need to roll for this with two pins on it. Yep. yep. Uh, commander's beside it. Yep. So it's eight or less. Eleven. Eleven, definitely not. Thankfully not Fubar. Frankly Fubar not. is bad. Yes, it certainly would have been in that instance. Mm. Uh, okay, so... so that they just go to down? down? Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, and then we'll go on to the next dice, which is another German. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> There's lots of German dice left in here. Yeah. Yes, I think is. the next thing I'm going to activate is uh, my little buddy, my little guy who did a lot for me last turn. He's getting a uh, an advance order yeah. mm -hmm. to get him out of trouble. <laughs> so he is just going to advance six inches back yeah. into here. So he ran out, all guns blazing, to see off the transport. He ran out going, Oi, what are you doing here? Go away! Yeah. And they left. Yep. Whoosh. But right. putting him back into hardcover, I think, yeah, good choice absolutely. because he's one guy on his own and John could nab that dice. And yeah. he's on four, so he is dragging it back. Yeah, I'm getting there slowly, but I don't think this is going to last much longer. Mm. Um, but no guts, no glory, right? Yeah, yeah. So this infantry section over here, yep. Yep. which is all nice and healthy, is getting an advance order. Yep. It's just going to... Go up to the hedge, point blank range, shooting, see if they can see off the veterans. Yeah. Yep. You're going to hope for a three kills and a failed morale test, I think. Let's hope yep. so. So... Five guys, mm -hmm. uh, you've moved, so fours down to threes against the point blank, so yeah. let's see if we can get them all. Yep. Uh, oh. Three hits, that's not bad. Yep. Yeah. So it might be just enough if you get three, three four fives. pluses. Yep. Okay. Yep. So what do we got? Two, two unlucky, two dead, and a pin rocker there. Mm -hmm. yep. But that's, that's a great piece of shooting. Mm. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, German dice. What do you have left? They haven't activated. Yeah, they haven't, and my two squads are there. Haven't. Haven't. Yeah, and your lieutenant. I'm a lieutenant. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to activate my recoilless gun. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to lob a, a HE shell down at that mortar crew. Okay, really doesn't like your mortar. It really doesn't. So test uh, nine. Uh, nine. Is he in range? Is he in range? <laughs> nine. Six. Yeah. He's in range. Mm. Boo! And how many pins have you got on you? Just the one. Just the one. Ah, oh. yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> so, one HE shell coming at you, John. Coming at you. There's not a lot you can do about it, I'm afraid, apart from wince. Miss. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got lots of creatures over in the field. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's planting season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm just going to try and play it safe for the rest of this game. So, this, these guys are going down. Mm -hmm. Just to stay safe. Yeah. Next up. Yep. Uh, these guys are also going to go down to stay safe. 
Yeah, well, you, you could have you could have activated your HQ to pull them all out and go all down at the same time. Yeah. It doesn't matter what orders you're giving them; it can be anything. It could be fire, yeah. advance, move, down. Yeah, and, it, so that's, and a, that's one of those rules that I am going to forget a lot. So I yeah. do need someone to poke me and go, remember, remember, remember. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, uh, you'll soon get used to it. I'm sure. Yeah, right. Um, Observer hasn't done anything yet this yeah. turn, so right. he's going to be issued a fire order. You okay, take a test. is he targeting? He has Kill to take that. a test again. No, this is on one guy. This is on one guy, but this one is down. Yep. So I assume you're targeting this. Yep. And it's a pass. It's a pass, yeah. good. So it's down to one. Down to one pin. Mm -hmm. Now okay. I'll turn that later. Okay, yep. so you're looking for a five, one dice. <gasps> and he gets a one. Obviously, he really needs to uh, go back going, to school. Ah, 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 shooting anything that moves, <laughs> even the bunnies in the field. Yeah. yeah. That's what he's wasted his ammunition on. He's not actually yeah. shooting anymore. So stones. this is me. This is you. Uh, again, my guys are just going to go down. I'm just I'm playing oh. out to the end of this game, just going those down. Con those conservative Germans. He's consolidating his line. Is I what think so. Down. There's no yeah. no reason to overstretch. Yeah. yeah. So um, okay, that's the end of the fourth turn. Now you could carry on. I think the, the British are being being beaten. It's it's seven to to four. Mm. So Justin, give me ten seconds as to why you think the Germans have uh, taken the field. Uh, Quite simply, looking across, there has been much armoured death. That was my biggest worry during the beginning of this game. I've taken them to, two of them down. I've almost got that other Sherman down. If he rolls out around the side, that pack 40 is going to have him. Infantry on John's side is all about to die. Now it's just taking care of those guys at the back, and job's done. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. Mm. Uh, John, I think uh, from, the, from the British perspective, you think you've taken the, the 10 seconds to tell me why you've taken the field? I think the match has been very well played. I'm going, I to, talk, more. I'm going to talk like General Montgomery here yes. and refer to cricket all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> what what has happened or what has not went well for me is I was not cautious enough with the armor. Yeah, rallied it up there just to try. What I tried to do was put you under pressure at your elite units it, and stuff like that. It did leave me jumping and going, "Crap, armor, yeah. kill it." Yeah, I yeah. did happen to a couple kill of it. very lucky shots. Did uh, take them out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, pants yeah. Off, but that's why you pay your points for your pants fast all over the place. I mean, yeah. the, the, you had four shots over here, and it didn't take yeah, them. Yeah, the out. firefly so, just sat there. Yeah. yeah, but I did pin the firefly, which is key. You know, it's yeah. getting those shots on, getting the hits in. Doesn't matter if I'm going to yeah. knock it out. If yep. it's not moving, I'm happy. These two Shermans were your bigger threats because they had two machine guns rather than the one on yeah. the firefly. Yeah, and, and it yeah. showed over there. They cleared, yeah. cleared that flank quite quickly. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in, in summary, I think um, the seven, armoured platoon... Seven VP for me? Seven, seven to four. It was yeah. always going to go to the German way. It's always nice to them. But yeah, Thank absolutely. Full-on German victory. Well played, sirs. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about the, the changes and the differences in bow action mm -hmm. too. Yep. Uh, you can see that it's exactly the same game in terms of you guys were... were you're on, on tender hooks, not knowing what was, the deck yep. was going to be and what was going to come out. Yep. Hoping that your tank would move before it get blown up. And, yeah. that. and <laughs> yeah. that's the excitement that's still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, guys, tell you what, that's Bolt Action 2. Drop your comments below. Do you like the changes? Are there things that you think maybe need a little bit more tweaking? Uh, let us know in the comments below. We'll move on, and we will see you in the next video. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastsofwar.com.